Bleep blop blork and welcome lead hacksers and congratulatron. I set up a triple factor DOS smoke wall to encrypt tonight's broadcast so only the most compu savvy web slingers could access it. If you're watching, black hats off to you. You passed the first techno test. Now, had the broadcast been protected by NordVPN, on the other hand, you would not have been so lucky. NordVPN is, of course, the sponsor of tonight's show. With over 5,600 servers in 59 countries, NordVPN isn't only the fastest VPN out there, it's easy to use. You can connect up to six devices, <laughs> and it's available on every major platform, including Windows, Android, iOS, and Linux. To receive a huge discount for a two-year plan plus four months for free, go to nordvpn.com slash critical role and thank you again for sponsoring tonight's show. Now, my handle is blackwillow69 Black at aol.com. You may have heard of my e-exploits in our semi-regular NordVPN advertising skits on Critical Role. If not, all you need to know is that I am the leadest hacker in the known Nordverse. Having gleamed the cube and saved the worldwide world from international crypto syndicates, rogue DEFCON viruses, and even virtual insanity. Oh, is tonight about me? In a way, isn't every night about me. <laughs> but in every other way, tonight is about all of us. In my deep dives through the metadata of history, I came across an archive about one of the earliest elite hacker groups to stroke the ones and twos, and how these cybernetic heroes <laughs> reshaped the internet as we know it. I also discovered how I, Black Willow 69, was born. Yes, tonight's tale is based on a true story. Everything you're going to witness at this table actually happened. So let's get into this special true story of Generation Nord. The year 1995. A new phenomenon is reshaping the world. It's called the Internet. Five teenage hackers are assembled by a top secret government agency. Their techno mission? Save the information superhighway, or die trying. They are the Code Monkey, the Hardware Whiz, the Gamer Geek, the Dark Web Robin Hood, and the Dude with the Car. If these computer whiz kids can hack the code without being sliced, they will become Generation Nord. Welcome back. The year is 1995. Bill Clinton is in office. Blue M&Ms were just introduced. <laughs> Cell phones? Nah. Beepers are all you need. Dial-up internet service providers are how 99% of users surf the net. The World Wide Web is a magical, wonderful place that folks are experiencing for the first time through sites like GeoCities, Netscape, Surf Bandit, InfoSeek. One of those was fake. <laughs> <laughs> but the information superhighway is starting to form potholes, viruses, phishing scams, malware, the dark net. Oh, no. They've begun to corrupt user experiences, and it's getting worse. Recently, a string of strange, dangerous international tragedies have rocked the world, just like Laura is rocking right now with her dancing. <laughs> the Unabomber is on the loose. Oh. There's a major league baseball strike. Beloved painter Bob Ross just died. No! Coincidence? Or is it all connected to a new super secret computer virus that's flooded the, the net called <laughs> Ruination? The virus uh, targets the most innocent people, not for money, but for lulls. Random people who connect through <laughs> modems and access sites like CompuServe are being annoyed, mocked, sliced for no reason. The fun of the internet is being ruined by ruination. They're logging off for good. The world is being menaced by the internet's first ever troll. But who can stop a troll? Well, maybe. Maybe five teenage hackers. Oh, we're teenagers. Oh, cool. oh yeah, you're, you're teenagers. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You're, you're all teenagers. I shouldn't tell it to you. Oh, 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 <laughs> five teenage hackers who have been summoned via electronic mail or email. 
and brought to a nondescript government building in Los Angeles, California, where our tale begins. Uh, I'm going to change the lights, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> I have notes for myself. The five of you are seated in a windowless conference room around a sterile table. Beige parquet floors, a plastic fern, a large screen CRT television, one of those curved CD racks, you know the ones. Oh, yeah. The only things on the table are a jar of sea monkeys that someone was playing with before, some bubble gum, a fountain pen. A middle-aged woman wearing a black and white uniform and large shoulder pads enters the room. Greetings, teens, and welcome to the NSAA. You've been selected for an important secret project codenamed the Nord Initiative. By now, I'm sure you've all heard of Ruination, the evil virus. The organization I work for has been tasked with isolating the source of the virus and shutting it down. My name is Nobody. <laughs> Agent Iris Nobody, it's a family name, don't worry about it. Before we go any further, I must confirm that I have the correct individuals. I have your files right here. Wrigley Rincon, uh, AKA Wriggle Me This 89. Yeah. <laughs> Please describe yourself for the audience. Oh, well, yes, well, uh, uh, I wear magenta. It's, it's, it's my favorite color. Um, and this, this uh, hoodie was given to me by, by, my, uh, by my older brother. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> 19, apparently. <laughs> 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 I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 19, and I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of an um, in-between uh, stage. I work at the library. I may also live at the library, <laughs> um, and uh, and I like to, for fun, hack into uh, blockbuster accounts and clear clear late fees. Cause fuck late fees. I'm yes, it does me. say in your file that you are a bit of a code monkey. Yes, a bit. Um, it also says that you are heavily in debt. Is that true? I mean, is that, is that integral to the conversation? Well, I'm just trying to verify your identity. Yes, um, I'm, I, I owe some money to some people, yes, um, but I, I, I invested in some quality stocks that might be paying off soon, uh, so hopefully I won't be in debt much mm. longer. Curious. Yes. Well, it also says that you're highly gifted in Numerology, numbers, uh, yes, I am fluent mathematics. In, in, yes, fluent in, in 1337. Uh, I like the ones and the twos, and, sure. and occasionally a zero. Um, and and uh, and numbers are my are my, my my only friends. Excellent. Yeah. And your uh, your hacker name again was uh, 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 wriggle wriggle me this 89. Wriggle me this 89. Yeah, 89 means means nothing. Uh, sure. Um, sure. Yeah. No, it's mm -hmm. a good year. <laughs> Lucas Dankworth, A.K.A. Nerf Worm Grim 01011. <laughs> yeah, present. Describe your appearance. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes people call me Dank, I guess. Dank. And, uh, hey. What's up? Um, you know each other? Uh, well, we work uh, in the same place. The mall. The mall. The mall, yes. I will note that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Dank. I got sort of a blonde uh, mullet, uh, and I work at uh, GB Games across from uh, Alex here. Uh, I uh, am trying to. Um, I'm, I'm in community college at the moment. Um, I probably could have done better, but I got kicked out of school for uh, selling cheat codes to Mortal Kombat 3 and Yoshi's Island. Um, so you know, I'm feeling things out. Uh, looking at my prospects. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It says that you're, because of all of your hours and hours of gaming, your hand-eye coordination is off the charts. Oh yeah, my Twitch reflexes are crazy. Yes, yeah, there, yes. Very there good. Is a firewall I can't get past. It also says here that you have been um, somewhat unsuccessful in online romance. Oh. Well, I don't know what that has to do with. Uh, We're just trying to identify you. No, I mean I'm not. I'm you know I'm just I fly solo. It says that you've been. Engaging in several chats over the years with I don't know if you want to. someone named Jinx. Jinx. No. Anyway, it's all there in the file. Check it out. Uh. Uh, Alex Peters. Which one is? Ah, yes. AKA Wire Wizard. Uh, there's a misspelling here. It has two Z's. No, that's it's there on purpose. It makes me sound cooler. Oh, I understand. <laughs> It says here that you work at Radio Shed. Please describe yourself. 
Uh, I'm a chick. My name is Alex. I got glasses on, dark hair. Uh, I work at Radio Shed. Sure, sure. Those are all things. Those are very easy to understand. Um, it says that you are. It says here that you are very good at uh, electric things, yeah, hardware, good making That's things. That's why my name's Wire Wizard. Oh, it's good because you make things. Well, I'm, I, I I alter things. Alter things. Yeah, people bring stuff in to get fixed, and oh, we have a lot of we have a lot of wires uh, at Radio Shed. Sure. And so I use them, and I I do things with them. Mm. It says here that you've been spending a lot of time on medical websites for a feline that you own. Is that true? Uh, a cat? Dr. Crusher. <laughs> Dr. Crusher. Oh, I'm sorry, do you need a tissue? Are you crying? No, I'm is, all right. It's is just, your cat okay? She, you know, she's, she's having a tough time, so. Oh, it sucks. She has an illness of some sort? Yeah. Something that you've been requiring uh, an experimental blood treatment to treat? Y yeah. One that's not on the market yet. Well, no, but I found it on the dark webs. On the dark webs. Hmm. It's a fascinating read. Good luck with your pussy. <clears throat> Next up, mm, Lilith Ferreira, <laughs> AKA Jinx. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, curious. Oh, shit, Dank. Hey, I haven't seen you online in a few yeah, uh, months. Uh, you said you were uh, 18. Um, uh -huh. You look older. Yeah, I'm almost 20, actually. How old are you, Lilith? 18. Okay. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we, can we, we can do that? Sure. Roll. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, before you roll, let me just prep the audience uh, and you. Uh, tonight we're going to be using a modified D20 RPG system. Mm. Uh, we call it the 8-bit system because we exist in an 8-bit space uh, in the Nordverse. So all D20 rolls will be made with a D8. It's a D8 <laughs> system. Now, have I balanced this system or tested it at all? No. Mar! I don't know if it will work, but we're going to do it anyway. We're also awesome. well beyond 16-bit in 1995. <laughs> but let's do this. Uh, go ahead and roll your D8. Maybe we roll two D8s. Uh, and, uh, nope, nope, it's just one D8. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh! Oh, that's a fail. Plus you can't two. tell what her age is. All right. <laughs> Sorry. But we're gonna say it's legal, <laughs> for sure, for anyone yeah. watching. It's yeah. definitely she's definitely over eighteen. Yeah. Um, for sure. Or whatever the state laws were she in nineteen ninety five. She looks younger than she is. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, would you describe yourself, please, uh, Jinx? Well, how honest can I be? About your physical description? <laughs> um. What what are we seeing, looking at you right I now? I mean, you're looking at me right now. Uh, well, I have um, sort of like a grunge appearance, and I like it that way. And I wear uh, heavy eye makeup, and I wear a fishnet undershirt. And, oh, it's uh, what you're wearing right yes, now. Yes, it's what okay, I'm wearing okay, right okay, now. That's, uh, I'm cosplaying myself. Gotcha. And what is that thing is. on your knee? Oh, well, I work at Doan's Fabrics, sure. and I was moving a box of paints, and I uh, tripped. So you busted your knee. I busted my knee. Can you at move? Can you walk? Uh, with a slight hop. Uh, if I hop, I can do it. All right, all right. Um, it says here that you have um, extensive experience on the dark web. Um, you've also hacked into several multinational companies, including Netscape and the government of Belgium. Yeah, that's right. It says here that you have uh, 18 warrants out for your arrest Plus across the territory of Grom. Across four states and Guam. Hmm. Sure, it would be nice to get that record expunged. Yeah. Would it not? It would be. Fascinating. And last but not least, Fontaine Savoy. Uh, yeah, that uh, that is me. Um. AKA. 
compost guru. Okay, well, so that's, it's not supposed to be that. I uh, I got locked out of my other account. That's that's the account that I do have access to right now. But I'm I'm working on getting my password recovered. Can we just call me, can we call, can everyone, is there, I don't, can everyone just call me Unseeing Oracle? That's, that's the name I had before. The name that you logged in with recently was Compost Guru. Well, that's because I needed to get on, so I used my eighth grade account. Uh, I, I'm not. You used to compost in eighth grade? Y- yeah, well, wow. we, they, the guy came to the school and gave a presentation, and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, oh. And I, that was the day I made my first account. And then, like a year later, I was like, <laughs> I'm not a compost guru. Uh, but uh, so yeah, then I switched to, to something cool, you know, like but you wizard. You were locked out of your own account. Yeah, well, I'm not. What I are you am doing here. Well, the, I'm asking myself similar questions. Um, <laughs> Many of you have fantastic computer hacking skills. Yes. World renowned. It says here that uh, Mr. Compost Guru. Owns a car. Oh, oh yeah. shit! I, uh, I that. Yeah, I inherited my uncle's uh, Toyota Tercel hatchback. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty sick. And it says that that is your only skill. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I also have, I'm also a certified EMT. Oh, oh, that's, uh, so, that's yeah, I interesting. Uh, I, I have, I have skills. I have skills. I can compost. Okay, yes, I can still do that, and yes, I still do. Uh, I just, I also am an unseeing oracle in certain ways. <laughs> the uh, uh, the file goes into great detail about uh, several incidents unproven of, uh, of theft of medicines and drugs. Uh, are you high or addicted to no, something? No, I'm not, I just, I have, I'm working on something, okay? You're working on something with, with medicine? Yes, like, has anyone here seen the movie Flatliners? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that so movie. Good. I have not seen it's that. It's such movie. a good movie. So essentially, it's Keith, Kiefer, it's some names you're going to want to remember. All right. Kiefer Sutherland, yeah. mm, incredible he's, actor. He's Julia hot. Roberts, incredible oh, actor. So good. Oliver Platt. William Baldwin, yeah. holy shit. Oh, wow. uh, but anyway, he's going to be a big star. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty yeah. fucking yeah. huge. Uh, but anyway, the movie's about a bunch of medical students who are constantly uh, trying to have near death experiences. <laughs> uh, and I, they fucked up because they all keep fucking around with like actually dying. But I, I think there's a way that you can unlock the brain's attention, uh, uh, the brain's, the brain's potential to unleash uh, the psychoactive drug DMT, thus allowing you to experience kind of the liminal space that exists between life and death. And if wow. I can get the right combination of opioids and stimulants, we, can, I, I, I think I could get there without actually inducing cardiac arrest. It's so complicated. We don't have to get into it right it now. Seems like no, we're just I'm just trying. Yes. Wait, have so you so tried it on yeah, anything? Compost yet? Oracle. I mean, have you seen the other side? Okay, uh, I we don't have time don't for your theories. Okay. We're here to do business, important Sorry. business. Just watch Flatliners. That's, I'm just I'm trying to do I'm not going to watch it. Is there a book? I'll read a book. No, it it's, on a book? it's mostly a movie, okay. I think. <laughs> it also <laughs> says that you are collecting a series of pogs from the movie Troll 2. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there is a there's a there's a limited uh, event, uh, the the movie I'm not sure anyone has here has seen Troll Two it's no. it's an incredibly awful movie but it's so awful it transcends awful and comes back around to good uh, but there was a series of pogs made to uh, try and stimulate VHS sales uh, only three in existence made by the director himself and I have. I have most of the Watts family. I have most of the Pleasant family. The only one I'm missing is the Sheriff Gene Freak Slammer. And if I get that, Sheriff Gene Freak. Make uh, a note of that, of course, yes. These are, so these are like ironic pogs. All right. No, no, the, anything but. Well, apparently this is the group that we have uh, brought together. Um, the five of you may be qualified to join the Nord Initiative. If so, you will be working as a team. Do you have any uh, follow-up questions for each other or for me, or shall we proceed? So you want us to just munch some squares for you? There might be square munching involved. So if we help uh, you, then all of our sort of um, nefarious... That is not for me to say, but it will be discussed. Can we put this on a resume, because my dream is to work at Sega of America, Redwood City Office's Sega Test Department. You cannot someday. discuss this with anyone, ever. Even this is super secret. Each other? Like when we when we leave here? Before? Not even each other. Oh, that's fine. I don't but I would love to give you more information. Let's get down to brass hacks. I have an electronic message or e message from the director of Project Nord, Agent Emmanuel Goldstein. 
Agent Nobody removes a CD from the curved CD rack and places it into a state-of-the-art of CD-ROM player <laughs> attached to a massive 38-inch television. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. 38-inch thick. <laughs> the screen flickers to life and you see a video message play for you, which we'll play for you right now. Oh, Green shit! Nation. Lead Hacksaws. I am Agent Goldstein of the NSAA. A top secret agency, and inside of another top secret agency. Have you heard of the NSA? Well, those dudes are a bunch of ass wipes. We are the NSAA. We have another A. The NSAA is for anonymous, which means we're even more secret than those total losers. We get the best tools, the best tech, the deadliest missions. But apparently, every single one of our special agents is over the age of 24, ancient, in the world of high tech, all of our top hackers have been sliced by Wuhan Nation. Some have even gone missing. Oh. Now, I don't like teenagers. No surprise there, nobody does. Sweaty balls of hormones, every single one of you, with Beanie Babies and Coolio songs and your, your pump up high tops. Those are the dumbest shoes I've ever seen. Pop rocks, kids die when they eat those things. <laughs> but you also may be the internet's best hope if you can defeat Ruan Nation, the <laughs> NSAA. We'll see to it that your personal problems are absolved. Your criminal records sponged. Your pussy life-saving medicine delivered right to your doorstep. Your pong collection. Really? Pong, pong two. Pong two! Pong two sucked! Pong one! The map pong. Troll two sucked! <laughs> Troll one was the, an absolute legendary film. <laughs> Way better than Flatliners. Oh! <laughs> That's like what? A Pog 2 is like what? A dollar? Stupid teen. You could have asked for anything and you asked for Pog 2. It's so dumb. The government will also reward you <clears throat> with up to $420 in cash each. And that is life changing money for a teenager in the current year of 1995. But before you pubescent punks go after the big dog, we have arranged a trial run, a test of your skills, if you will. <laughs> To make sure that you are up for this, the question is, are you? Do you think you're, are you ready? It's a, can we, are you guys ready, yes or no? Can we, can we talk, can are you? Or can you I hope you answered it. You're so stupid, you're teenagers. This is pre-taped, it's a pre-taped message. I, I can't hear you. I hope you said something stupid. Because you are just that, dumb, dumb teenagers. Agent nobody. Oh is now passing out your mission binders. Oh, Godspeed, good. teams. And remember, 11110011011. Yeah. We all know that is binary for good luck, good luck. you idiot kids. <laughs> he missed the one. <laughs> the screen goes blank, the CD-ROM drive ejects, Agent Nobody passes you manila envelopes and uh, orders you to follow her. She leads you down a hall past locked steel doors, up a flight of stairs into the control room. It's a tall room, 40 foot high ceilings with bays of computers, chairs, a large power supply in the middle of the room, beautiful skylight above. Quite simply, it's the most beautiful computer bay you've ever seen. Oh. Gleaming new machines with 33 megahertz processors, 500 meg hard drives, 15 inch color monitors, color? up to eight <laughs> megabytes of RAM. Pretty oh. choice. Oh. These machines don't exist yet. They're just too powerful. Wow. Racks of hardware, tools, soldering sets, wires, other accessories line the room, all shiny and new. There's even a medical bag full of supplies and lots of weapons. Damn, weapons. Also lying around, you find a company directory for a company called Joko, listing employee names, occupations, phone numbers, etc. Joko? Joko, as well as links to the Joko website, tech support page, photo gallery, and there's an encrypted telephone, or e-phone, if you need to make any e-calls. <laughs> Your task is to hack into the security system of a company called Joko. Now, remember, this is just a simulation to see if you can work together as a team. The company is fake, but the stakes are real. 
The security system is protected by a series of passwords. You may crack them any way you wish. Brute force, random guesses, hardware bypass, sabotage, trickery. It's up to you. Once you crack the codes, you'll have access to their master security computer, control over their cameras, elevators, door locks. If you encounter an antivirus worm, abort immediately. They're too unstable. But otherwise, this is your test. It's a time trial. You will have eight minutes and 36 seconds. Ah. If you cannot complete the task by then, Terror. I'm afraid you will have to, we will have to terminate you all. Wait, well, like, fire, oh, fire. Fire. I'm just kidding. Oh, just kidding. okay. Are you? Um, oh yes, sorry, before I start the timer. Uh, uh, a word of advice to all of you. I, I, I gave you a little of this before we started. Feel free to think outside the box. This is the Nordverse. This is not real life. Uh, you are hackers and unconventional, mm. unconventional uh, computer knowledge can be bent, can be stretched. I will reward players who make up complex technical terms. I will reward the overuse of hacker jargon. I will re reward <laughs> obscure 90s pop culture references. You can do anything you want to on a computer. You can make hardware. You can call anyone you wish. You can do combo moves. You can hack any technology to make it more useful to you, or at least you can certainly try. Nobody cl uh, clicks their stopwatch and announces, approach your consoles and begin. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys. Okay, this is it. What Hold the on. Hell is I'm going to change music and stuff. Okay, oh my God. you approach the consoles. The keys are shiny and new, but also familiar. You feel most at home in front Wait, of a computer. Is the timer computer. going right now? It's going. You're Don't worry, things? you'll be fine. You log in. The screens flash to life. The first thing you see is the Joko logo and a field that says, please enter admin password to continue. The trial has started. Roll for initiative. Oh, oh no. God. Do we roll a, a D8? D Everything's a D8. Oh. Don't add anything. Oh, no, there oh, yeah, is initiative there is. on yeah, your sheet. We have initiative. Okay, uh, who got above a five? <laughs> Okay, what'd you get? I got an eight. Ooh. Uh, okay, eight for Lou, great. Oh. Who's next? Uh, who got a four? I got a five. I got a five. Got five for Laura. Rollies. Wait, no, it's here. Rollies. Oh, man. Oh, you go got first. Eight. Okay, Liam, and then Laura, and then who's four? Me. Guru. Uh, Amy got a four. Dank. And then Christian's Why? last, I got whatever. A Wire wizard. Okay, okay. Um, all right, the first prompt says, please enter admin password to continue. That's all you get. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, first we got to open up the P frame oh, and see if there are any exploits. Uh, it's Working technically lose turn oh, right. first, but you guys can work together. It's This is not that really just uh, combat. I'll lean up from mine and go, hey, what, am I, what do we do? Oh, yeah. okay. He doesn't know anything about computers. <laughs> hey, I'm, not, I'm not the oh, guy. Oh, I'm totally glorking himself right now. Uh, okay, uh, okay I, think, I think we got to run a zero day attack. Okay, great. Uh, Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Quite for me. I, uh, I'd like to. I'd like to attempt a zero day attack. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and, uh, and Amy, I'm sorry. Uh, Jinx will be assisting you. Great. So why don't you uh, roll with uh, advantage? Advantage. Uh, that's two d8s, okay. and then add your computer uh, knowledge. So it's uh, your a computing bit check. Attack. It's, it's a sixteen bit roll. It's <laughs> yes, it's a sixteen bit roll. Great. I have a minus two to computing. Go for uh, it. Uh, but that's oh. an eight and a six Shit. for a, uh, for no, a, no, it's an advantage. It's advantage. Oh, so, so you I, just use the, the top one. No, six. no, an eight. No, the eight. You well, got it's an eight minus two because oh. I have a minus oh. one computer. Okay, oh. six, six, six. Okay, okay, okay. I uh, wait. Is the music playing? No. This, this game system. Is <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna switch it. I don't know how this works. Okay, <laughs> um, let's say uh, uh, yes. Uh, six meets the DC of this particular uh, uh, check, and um, you're able to isolate. Um, uh, the, the code opens up. You, you see some. You see some stuff that you don't really understand. But Jinx, leaning over your shoulder, sees that there are eight. Uh, there's eight characters in this in this password. Uh, so you know there's 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 eight characters. You don't know what they are yet, though. Um, uh, next up is Liam. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna frobnicate the password, sure. okay, and look for exploits, okay? So we just have to deduce uh, how many of these, uh, these uh, uh, are, are actually vowels, and then we can go from there. Okay, so you're looking specifically for vowels. Go ahead and roll your D8 and add your computing uh, skill check. Okay, my computing? It's down at the bottom of There skills. it is. That's a total of nine. Oh, that's definitely uh, succeeds. You get the vowels. The second letter is A. 
And the sixth letter is O. And there's how many letters? Eight. Eight. Can you repeat that one? one, two, three, one. Second four, letter four, is A. Seven, eight. Sixth Wait, letter the, is the O. Second, the second letter is A. Uh huh. You get the vowels. Sixth letter is O. Oh, I don't know, you guys. This thing feels pretty crufty. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Leo, uh, Laura, you're off. Oh God. Okay. I'm just gonna um, from Nikkei to yo-yo system to uh, <laughs> To figure out the rest of the consonants. Sure, going for consonants this time. Uh, go ahead and roll, and uh, let's yeah. make this one. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, a pop-up window is blocking half the screen, so let's say that this is going to be uh, a navigation check to navigate yeah. around the pop-up. <laughs> Come on, wire wizard, you can parse this. Oh fuck! I rolled a one. A one. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Do I add anything? Uh, you add your navigation. Okay, so it's a three total. Okay, a white box ASCII generator pops up and blocks uh, the rest of the code, you, well, yeah, the password, you can't see it. Are we allowed to make guesses? Uh, yes, you can guess at any point. Should I just guess it? I mean. You, I mean, you're pretty smart. <laughs> I. If the, if, the, if the second letter is A and the sixth letter is O, it might just be password. You type that in? Uh, that is correct. Oh! <laughs> I I do do the crossword. That's not computer related at all. Uh, that was a really good. I mean, I just assumed the two minutes joke have elapsed. Wouldn't. You have six minutes oh, left. The geez. second prompt comes up on the screen. You see a prompt that says Joko is a leading maker of baking spray, anesthesia, and thermonuclear reactors. For records, click here. For payroll, click here. For building security, click here. What would you like to do, Laura? Uh, building security. Okay, you click on it. You're prompted with another prompt that says, please enter your security department six digit ID number. That's all you get. <laughs> uh, Amy, it's your turn. Of course it is. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna frots first, which is an Juking interjection of very mild disgust. Yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to, um, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, write a code oh. that is going to. Okay. Um, You're good at that. Yeah, I'm going to do write a code that's going to be a brute force attack. A brute force attack, and because you used frots, I'll give you advantage on this. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and roll. Uh, get, go ahead and roll for a uh, uh, decipher code check. Decipher code check. Oh shit! Wait, I didn't get oh, an advantage that's with a my. Ten. No, you didn't. <laughs> Uh, a That's ten. a 10, because I have a plus succeeds. four decipher code. Definitely succeeds. Okay, uh, your brute force attack weirdly does not get through their security system. However, it does um, it, it does uh, uh, highlight some text that was previously unreadable on the screen. That's uh, a link to another, uh, another tab that says company directory. Uh, the prompt still is flashing. Please enter your security department six digit ID number. And now there's also a tab that says uh, company directory that you can click on. Um, uh, Christian, it's your turn. Uh, oh, uh, uh, the, the, I can access the company directory. You can, go ahead. Uh, I would like to scan the company directory. Okay, you cl scan the company directory. You're just seeing names flying by. I'm the gonna A's, take the, the top B's. name, I'm gonna pick the first name. Uh, and you, you flip randomly, uh, you come across um, Martin, Emily, records, merchant, Frank, accounting, middle Middlebrook, Kyle, security. Kyle, security. I'll go. Uh, and you notice for the first time that I only I'm only using my right hand to to, oh. to sort of hack in. Uh, uh, and yet and it's, it's still so deft. It's, and, I mean, the the fingers are flashing across the keys. And what I'd like to do is open a separate box, a separate uh, um, sort of web browser, pop up, sure. uh, another web browser, and I will go to the Blockbuster uh, website. You're uh, going to the Blockbuster I, website. I, I will go oh, to the so Blockbuster smart. website. Okay, okay. Uh, go and, ahead and and roll to ha to hack into the Blockbuster. This is easy for you. You've done it before. Yeah. They do keep resetting their password. Though, so roll with Evantage yeah. and do a computing check. Yeah, but there are a bunch of Coke bottles over there, yeah. so I, I'm gonna break it for sure. That's true. Uh, and <laughs> maybe not. Um, that's a, a two. Is it plus anything? Uh, computing is at the bottom of your uh, skill. Seven. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's easily, easily you get in. You, you, you scroll through uh, Blockbuster accounts looking for Kyle Middle, Middlebrook. Kyle Middlebrook does have a Blockbuster account, and his name and phone number and date of birth are listed right there in Blockbuster. Win phone it. number 310-555-3098, date of birth 10966. The prompt is still flashing. Please enter your six-digit ID number. So at first, what I, what I, because it's just a force of habit, I just want to make sure he doesn't have any late fees. 
Uh, he does have a late fee for the movie Showgirls. Okay, and I will clear that immediate. Showgirls, he can keep that late fee. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uh, um, uh, enter his uh, date, of, date of birth. Date of birth, 10, yes. 9, 66. Uh, enter. It's, that's only five. It clears through to the next pr- prompt. Yes, 10, 10 0, 9, oh. 6, 6 is six digits. You are through to the next prompt. The oh. third prompt, you have Good job. 90 seconds so left. Oh. Uh, the third prompt says, to what? access master security controls, type in your level three clearance word. Oh. With small text underneath, it says, if you've forgotten your word, click here and IT will call you with your password reminder. We can spoof them. Yeah, yeah spoof them. Lou, you're up. Yeah, spoof. Okay, let's spoof him. I'm gonna, uh, I'll pick, I'm gonna call him. You're gonna call him. Or, or I'm gonna, gonna click on him. the uh, IT help for the password. Okay, it's gonna, it's, if you click on that, it's gonna call Kyle Middlebrook. Oh. Is that what we want, so we can spoof him? Yeah. But we, what, how are we gonna, How are you gonna spoof him? We have oh. to hack into Kyle's yeah, phone. Yeah, I, we, I wanna intercept his, e, I wanna use our e-phone to intercept the line so that when they call oh. Kyle, we, it's redirect, I'm gonna I redirect. I'm yes. a hardwire. You're, yes. you're a hardware yeah. expert. Yeah, yes. Okay, then you definitely get e vantage on this. Hey. Uh, <laughs> roll twice, and you know what, use, use Laura's, uh, what is it, knowledge of hardware? Yeah. Uh, skill check? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay. Uh, that Sick. is. So that's a total of 13. Holy nice. shit, in a D8 system? You're <laughs> OP. <laughs> you definitely. So, what are you going to. Uh, how are you building this device? Like, uh, what are you making it out of? There, there's all kinds of wires and stuff around. What does it look like? Yeah, I'm going to break down some of the other uh, pieces that I see and create a, a secondary box off mm-hmm. of the e-phone. Sure. Just to, you know, get in the signal. I'm gonna build uh-huh. a wire out the top of it uh-huh. so it intercepts the satellite signal yeah. with the antenna uh-huh. and send it into the oh, e-phone. Oh, that's such a Excited. deft description of it. Yes, okay. I rip a wire off of the phone and just jam it into the center. <laughs> Matt, it, it, I, well, that fucked it up. So oh, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, give it one time. Okay, yeah, yeah. There, sorry, my bad. bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, all of a sudden, the e phone starts ringing. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, uh, ring. I pick it up. Uh, hello, this is uh, Jerry with uh, security. Uh, I, you need a password reminder, huh? Yeah, this is Kyle. I'm drunk. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Kyle. <laughs> uh, you see that dodging game last week? Ooh, they hit the ball. <laughs> oh, they did. Okay, roll, roll uh, a, per, a, a persuasion check okay. just to convince him that you're, uh, you're the guy. <laughs> Uh, I had plus one to this. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's a four. Sure, nice. that'll work. <laughs> hey, you sound like you got a cold, Kyle. Hey, well, okay? I'll tell you, it's all the drinking I've been doing oh. at the Dodger games. Oh. Hey, Kyle, come back and we're watching the game. Oh, Kyle. I'm ca- I just got to get my password. Come on, Jerry, sure. hurry up. Sure, sure, sure. I, I, you know, it's the name of your first kid. Man, I'm drunk. I don't. <laughs> Throw me a bone. I, your first kid, you don't remember your first kid? Yeah, uh, it's a boy, right? Uh, of course, it's a boy. Yeah, yeah, damn right. And then it's um, and then it's uh, it's a good Christian name, right? I, I mean, I'm Jewish myself, but <laughs> I, uh, maybe it is. I mean, you named him, right? Yeah, I did. Um, can but, I, can I check while I was on the phone if there's a secondary blockbuster account for a child? Uh, for oh, uh, yeah. sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah, ro- ro- roll for, uh, just a uh, uh, a decipher code check. That's an eight plus. Seven. Oh yeah, you get it. Uh, underneath uh, Kyle Middle Middlebrook's name in uh, in block bu- in the Blockbuster account, it says that uh, Bambi was recently rented under the name Maxwell. Oh, we got a Bambi and a Maxwell. <laughs> oh, is it? It's Maxwell, right? Yeah, of course it's Maxwell. Good old Max. Oh, good old Max. Hey Jerry, thank you so much, oh, man. Oh sure. Hey, are you gonna come over to Angie's house later this weekend? Yeah, we're having pa- pasta. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell. Okay. Uh, oh, with only three seconds left, you enter it and the screen suddenly goes blank. Then blinks on again, and your consoles are filled with video feeds, dozens of black and white cameras pointed all over an office building of some sort, somewhere in the world. You see people via security camera entering and exiting. Snacking on Crystal Pepsi, <laughs> eating Ring Pops. It was the 90s. <laughs> that's, all, that's, all. <laughs> that's all anyone is eating. We almost didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> you also see glimpses of highly sensitive areas with warning signs. It's all very grainy, but you've definitely accessed something. And there are controls 
With keystrokes, you can view, control, or disable security cameras. You can lock or unlock doors. You can view motion detector settings from the 12th floor all the way to sub-basement two. There's controls for the HVAC system, elevators, sprinkler, and more. Agent Nobody returns doing a slow clap. Well, 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 we misjudged you. You might have entered this building as five wasteoid Gen Xers, but now you are official members of Generation Nord. Wow. Welcome to the Nord Initiative. Agent Nobody hands you badges on lanyards, oh. color-coded, no less. <laughs> <laughs> Where's purple? This is a lot of pressure. Oh, man, that was such a saga, you guys. Yeah, guys, that's the first time I've ever freaked a tell now. you know this is my favorite color? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Unseen Oracle, you're, you're, um, you're, you're quite skilled. Oh, I mean, it was mostly, uh, it was mostly the wizard, and I, I, I'm glad you could like pull up the kid's name, but you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm it was glad. Great, to, though. Yeah. Your acting skills are like on point. <laughs> yeah, do you take classes? No, I just watch a lot of movies. Yeah, flat I've got like a, a whole rack of laser discs if you guys ever want to come through and like watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to. Right. Cool. I mean, yeah. Be there in a uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. Very expertly done, all of you. These lanyards are blank because our operation is so super secret. <laughs> <laughs> Much more secret than the NSA. But feel free to wear them if it makes you feel special. <laughs> is it like secretly coded on nope, the inside? They oh, are just okay, blank. It's just nothing. All right. I've never been a part of it. We did not think that you were going to succeed so easily, but in the event of success, Agent Goldstein pre-recorded a video message for you. Are these pre-recorded or is she? She hits play on a gigantic 20-inch TV VCR. Oh, oh shit. You see the familiar face of you Agent You see, Gold. I was right. Teenagers are useless, greasy, disgusting animals. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Failing so spectacularly, you pieces of dog crap. Okay, so. Agent. Uh, nobody quickly hit stop, uh, pausing the, right the tape. Video? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. That was obviously the wrong video. Uh, that was. Yeah, uh, you really un uh, sorry. underestimated. Sorry. Uh, I will play the correct video, the one uh, uh, for success. Uh, he ejects it, and uh, she ejects it, and puts in a new, uh, vi new video tape and, and hits play. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> you tights are so smart, smarter than Agent Nobody ever gave you credit for. See, nobody, I told you, these teenagers made it look easy. Welcome aboard the Project Nord. That's, that's pretty good, that rhymes. Do you see how I, I did that? Okay, let's cut the shit. There's work to do. As you may have already deduced, the building that we had you hack, it is not a sim. It's a real place. Our techies ran a mid-band beachcomber protocol, cross-referenced the Telenet IP address to that of Ruin Nation. They hill-swapped it to a location in downtown Los Angeles, City of Angels. It's the Johnson Corp building, and that is where your mission will be. You will break into Johnson Corp headquarters, jack off into Jack, Jack, <laughs> Jack into, Jack into the mainframe, Isolate the Ruin Nation root kit and destroy it at all costs. I can see from your face you look scared. You realize the gravity of the situation, do you not? <laughs> I don't see you, you dummies! I don't see you! It's a pre recorded message, you horny dum dums! God, the teenagers are so lame. Agent Nobody, take it from here. Sorry, yes. I'm gonna go try a brand new coffee drink that was just invented. It's called a Frappuccino. <laughs> Apparently it's like a milkshake on steroids. Makes you poop in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I feel like Jinx it looks, has a worried expression on her face and she wants Agent Nobody. She like locks eyes and says, if we're gonna do this, you should tell them what we're up against. I don't know what you mean, Jinx. Do you yeah. know someone, something about? You do. And also, if I'm gonna do this, then I need some assurances that you're actually gonna expunge my record. Not that you'll think about it, or talk about it, or discuss it. Hmm. A hard bargainer. 
<clears throat> Jinx over here is well known for scouring the deepest corners of the dark net and finding out all sorts of dirt on people, places, and companies. You know something about Johnson Corp, do you? Yeah. Like what? Well, they're an evil multinational conglomerate, and they got rich making pesticides. Pesticides. <laughs> Pesticides? Pesticides that kill baby seals. <gasps> intentionally? Yes. Holy Why? shit. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's oh. intentional. Why would they do that? It's kind of like the nonstick pan situation. Oh. It's like the runoff. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Kills the seals, specifically. What? Anyway, they're really dangerous. Mm. Just the seals? Just the seals, so far. Oddly specific. Yeah. Cruel. Oh. Evil. Jinx does speak the truth. Johnson Corp is quite advanced, and they are also expanding their businesses yes. into other realms. Dial-up internet. They are starting their own internet service provider called Johnson Online, AKA JOL. It's oh. like other online platforms, except everything is Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep getting worse and worse. The, the so doomsday so clock just keeps getting closer exactly. to midnight, you guys. <laughs> we don't know much about who runs the company. I do. Oh? What have you learned? Well, there are no pictures of him that exist, but his name is Don Johnson. <laughs> Don? No relation. From Miami? No, 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 no relation. relation. No okay. Relation. Don. No photos of this man exist. He's been scrubbed from existence. Does he does he work there? Is he there? He owns it. Everybody's got a everybody's got a, a, a record. Maybe we can find him on the, the security <laughs> cameras. I mean, I've looked into the social security database, social security number card database. Mm -hmm. Not there. Doesn't have a social security number. How does he own a company if he doesn't? I don't know. It? What about dark web? Oh, I've looked. What about the library? Oh, I haven't looked. <laughs> Everybody reads. I'm gonna go to the computer and I'm gonna I'm gonna like backtrace and ping pong and and zooby wooby um, to uh, oh man, you into speak the Dewey? I speak Dewey wow. and 1337 and eight and nine uh, and I will uh, I will I will type in Don Johnson in the LA Public Library. Sure, you can you can do uh, it's let's just do a TV guy. Yeah, the, <laughs> the actor comes up over Variety <laughs> Daily. Am I let's in? do just a navigation search. Uh, this is navigating the internet. But I will cross reference that search with. Uh, with with Fortune 500 and uh, security uh, security systems. Sure, I'll yeah. give you a plus one to this roll. <laughs> uh, no, not advantage. And what am I rolling? Uh, uh, a navigation check. Navigation check, which is two. roll your D8. That's a four. Four plus anything? That no, two plus two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, you don't get much. Uh, Don Johnson really doesn't have very much listed. Uh, however, you do find. Some theories, some online theories um, that seem to tie the ruination virus to Johnson Corp. Uh, some wild theories, some of them are bizarre. Some, some uh, are talking about how Johnson Corp uh, wanted to release this virus on the world, um, invented this new uh, kind of virus called Trollware, which uses spam, pop-up ads, random acts of annoyance um, to annoy people on the internet infecting totally reasonable online chat rooms with offensive replies. Um, whenever uh, anyone replies to this troll, uh, they just reply with things like, why you mad, bro? Um, oh, insidious. It's, it seems like that this trollware is r trying to ruin the internet for everyone, and the theory is it's to drive everyone to the JOL service instead. Mm -hmm. um, there are no trolls on the JOL service because it's heavily regulated. It's very boring, very bland. It's all pictures of cute animals and babies. It's pretty. It's pretty weak sauce. Um, that's what you learn from your internet search, but nothing about Don Johnson. I convey that to the to the group, and a thought occurs to me, guys. When everybody leaves a trace on 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 the internet, I mean, you guys know that. And I'm thinking, if we can get a hold of that troll in a chat room, we might be able to backtrace the IPN address and find out exactly where it's coming from, and it might be coming from the Johnson headquarters, Johnson Corp oh, headquarters idea. downtown. Have you tried spelling it D O H N? D-O-H-N. Instead of just regular Donald? That's, that's... How about Donald? 
Donald Johnson. Let's try that. I'll try all of them. But with an H in it. D O H N A L T. Donald. Donald. Or maybe D A W N. I'll try all of those variations. <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll. Donald. <laughs> Donald. Roll a uh, another navigation Donald check. Uh, while he's doing that, can I make a perception check to Eight. see if Iris was actually going to kill us if we failed? <laughs> uh, sure, go ahead. This would be yeah, an insight check, Ooh. I think. Um, uh, that's a, an eleven. An eleven. You, you you can't read her. Uh, you don't know her well enough to read her, but you do notice. Uh, a bulge in in her waistband around the uh, back of is her. She... <laughs> no, not not below oh. her waistband. Oh. In her waistband, like she's concealing she's really something high, something really in her pocket. All the way. It's a belly button penis. She has a tail. Okay. <laughs> uh, what did you roll? Uh, 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 roll me this eighty nine. I, I rolled an eight. An eight. Six plus two. Eight. Uh, you look up all the other iterations of Don, Dahan, Dahanel yeah. Johnson, <laughs> and while you do find some very spicy uh, photos oh. of oh. a uh, of a fifty three man, uh, fifty three year old man from upstate New York, oh, uh, that is all that you can find. It, it doesn't seem to be the right Don Johnson. It's just a random guy who's been posting pictures of him, naked pictures of himself Ooh. on his uh, on his bullet. What an board. interesting way to use the internet. Yeah, yeah. I, I will, um, without anyone noticing, just forward me those images. <laughs> um, you forward them to yourself? Maybe. Nice. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, great. Uh, 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 Agent Nobody is still in the room um, and uh, uh, claps, claps her hand. Um, finding the source of this virus will be dangerous. Johnson Corp is a powerful entity, and yes, we will give you assurances that everything that you require will be rewarded to you upon successful completion of this mission. You will have the full backing of the NSA, A, including Gadgets. Cool. Nobody ushers you over to the shelves of gear at the far side of the room. You look over a vast array of tools, weapons, equipment. There are brass knuckles. There is a VH copy, VHS copy to, of the movie Batman Forever. Oh, oh, there yeah. is a wrist it's keyboard. Not, there is a golden oh, mouse. There is a box wrapped in brown paper. There's antivirus software across 15 floppy disks. Oh. There's desktops. There's glasses. There's a disguise kit. <gasps> You will each receive a pack of equipment tailored to your specialities. But here are some weapons that you can choose from. Ooh. Go ahead and pass them out. I know I didn't throw them too far. <laughs> For the audience at home, Whoa. they have been offered a taser, a tonfa, which I'm told is like a baton sort of a thing, awesome. okay. yeah. brass knuckles, Ooh. <laughs> A single shuriken. Got it right here. <laughs> dibs, dibs. And pepper spray. Pepper spray. I'll take the tongue. I'll take the brass knuckles. You notice underneath oh, that's Alex's thin flannel shirt are rippling muscle. <laughs> uh, you like? She is fucking jacked. Buff. Oh, wow. You know, there's a lot of lifting the hardware and the and the computers of this time, that they're big. At know? Radio Shed? Yeah, like awesome. Radio Shed, yeah. I do a lot of lifting. Yeah, keyboards, uh, cables. So, yeah. Uh, yes, you do notice that she has rippling, uh, sinewy muscles, but also the, her her right arm is far more jacked <laughs> than her her left from all the mouse clicking. I put both uh, the brass knuckles on one. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm more like a lover pepper than spray? a fighter, so I'll Which take like the that? pepper spray. And this is the taser. I guess I'll take, what do you have? I got the tonfa. The tonfa's two, right? It's like one, two. Uh, two attacks? No, no, it's like two. Oh, two tonfas? Two tonfas or I just one? I think it's a one? single tonfa. Does it say multi-attack or does it? Melee. I think it's just a single tonfa, a, a single attack. All Plus right. you need that other hand for hacking. I guess, I'll, I guess it'll do with my bum knee and everything. Oh, oh the taser? Sorry. No, I'm like, Do you want me to take a look at your knee? Oh. No, I like it this way. Oh, okay, no, respect. Maybe. You will also be issued super stylish, skin tight, color coded jumpsuits in the style of the Power Rangers. Oh. <laughs> Are these necessary? Only time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> you each get uh, boxes with color coded, uh, amazing uh, Power Ranger style jumpsuits <gasps> that you put it's on. This is going to be the best ever, you guys. It's a little okay. tight. Form fitting a bit. I don't Are know, we man. putting it on? Is everybody just putting oh, it on? Right uh, now? We'll say that yeah, there's yeah, no changing rooms. You have to change yeah. right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Oh man, those muscles! <laughs> go, 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 go. I'm sort of changing subconsciously, but sneaking glances at uh, at, at Mr. Uber here. Oh, okay. He looks really That's strong right. too. Jinx, is your uh, leg okay? Mm, yeah, it's fine. Okay, that was cool what you did back there with the, you know, with the the flotsing. Thanks. Yeah. I like your accent. <laughs> you can't really hear it over messenger. No, I speak uh, more poetically uh, with my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx uh, just looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> any intrigue or just uncomfortable? Well, uncomfortable <laughs> at what? Oh, uh, um, at what wire, wire wizard, wizard did? just did okay. the lewd gesture. So intri intrigued at Nerfworm. Yes, very. Uh, creeped up by wire wizard. Okay. Um, nobody also hands out schematics, blueprints of the Johnson Corp building. It shows the main entrances, the service entrance, elevators, lobby floor plan, duct system, electrical grid. Thanks to your trial run, you've already hacked into the building electronic security system, or e-security system. That will give you access to cameras, controls, to help navigate the building, all via this portable laptop. State of the art. She hands you a laptop computer that weighs 18 pounds <laughs> and has 90 minutes of battery life and it's takes 35 hours to charge. It's so light. It connects to the web <laughs> via a 14K radio modem. Um, uh, nobody also asks if you need anything else fabric for disguises, rope, wire, batteries, anything, skateboards. I'll take what a skateboard. Would, you would like a skateboard? Yes, please. Uh, she goes to the shelf and pulls out a, a Tony Hawk skateboard uh, with the, the most customized uh, stickers all over it. <laughs> I proceed to try to do a kickflip and wipe out. <laughs> Why don't you roll for it? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll do a dexterity check. Come on, Nerfworm. All right, oh. that's uh, a dexterity check? Yeah. Just simple dexterity. Oh, 10 total. Wow. Yeah. wow. You, do you want to do it well? Yes. Wow. You do a kick flip Holy and it shit. is gnarly. <laughs> and you, you, you so nail cool. it. Damn, wow. damn, wow. Wow. Didn't know you could do that. I had another life before this one. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Almost 20 years. <laughs> uh, what would you like, uh, Jinx? Well, and we this? I'm going to need a pair of roller skate sneakers and also a round of ring pops for my friends. Cool. Um, uh, Agent Nobody goes to the computer and looks. Roller skate sneakers have not been invented yet. But we can. I think they have. Have they? I don't think so. Who Rollies. cares? Rollies. <laughs> Let's rollies for it. Yeah. <laughs> you you roll a d8. I will. We'll see who wins. Contested roll. Four. Just rolls. Just, just for the roll existence higher. of the shoes. That's a six. I rolled a five. Yes. Thanks. But it turns out there is an experimental set. Yes. From Stetchers. <laughs> yes. From Stetchers. We have it. I cannot guarantee that these will work. They I are. need them for my knee. All right. She hands you over a pair of purple. Stetchers, uh, roller skate sneakers, and what else did you need? A round of ring pops for All my right. friends. <laughs> Those are easily provided. She has them in her pocket. They're kind of warm. Oh. Um, <laughs> everyone has them here. Yes. Can uh, I also get uh, uh, a Walkman? I just I I hack better when I have music playing in my ears. Sure. What kind of uh, music would you like to listen to? We have. CDs, uh, Boys to Men, we have Madonna, we have TLC, the new one just dropped. We have uh, Blues Traveler, the new album just came out. It's oh. very good. I'm kind of a vintage girl. Vintage, so like Bon Jovi, Brian Adams. <laughs> like Wham. Like Wham. wham. <laughs> we have it. <laughs> <laughs> we have it. Uh, she hands you over a Walkman, state of the art, two AA batteries, and a Wham, a wham tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I want the, the high techs, I want a CD Walkman. We don't have those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, wriggle me this eighty nine. Did you want something? Uh, I was uh, curious. Uh, there, the payment uh, four hundred and how much? You are guaranteed four hundred and twenty dollars, but your debt is considerably higher than that. I know. Yeah, that's what I was uh, wondering. If there's, if you can give me an amount, I can run it up the chain of command. Can I write it on paper? <laughs> I'm sorry, no. If we're going to be honest with each other, we need huh? trust. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry? 50. 
dollars? So fifty thousand dollars. You yes. you bought fifty thousand dollars of 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 a stock that you found just because it had a cool commercial? It was an epic commercial. There was a sledgehammer and it broke the screen. It was great. Um, but and now that stock is garbage. Currently, yes. But it's $40,000 in stock and $10,000. Um, I was designing uh, something really cool that didn't come into fruition and I owe some loan sharks a little bit of money. Hmm, yes. But you know that already. I've heard of your arm contraption that you were trying to invent, it, yes? It's, uh, it's a bit more uh, complicated than, than, than that, mm. but yes. You don't know how close you were to getting it right. But yes, we will take care of your debt and pay off the loan sharks, the interest, should you succeed and survive. How, how close? The Nord Initiative will embark in one hour. You may familiarize yourself with your equipment, your jumpsuits, make any e-calls you need to make <laughs> to family members and loved ones. Remember, if you are captured, we will disavow all knowledge. You will be left to fend for yourself. Oh wait, can I ask for something real quick? It's just, She's I, walking out the door. Wait, I, wait, oh, it's, I, just, the Drusel. What is it? The Drusel's on E, so can I get like, seven bucks to fill up the tank? <laughs> Seven bucks. <laughs> Leaded, of course. <laughs> Leaded, of course. <laughs> sure. Thank you. I'm sorry. She reaches in her wallet. I, I'll honestly be, I'll probably be able to bring you change back, maybe a dollar or two. <laughs> she pulls out. T she only has a ten. Yeah, no, you'll definitely I get will change. Need change. On, you'll get yes, change. You'll get change on that for sure. And a receipt, you have to go please. Back yeah. to the gas <laughs> of course. Um, so uh, after she walks out, I think Jinx is gonna like open up that very heavy laptop, and I'm gonna write some code to install a keylogger, which is. <laughs> A keylogger records everything a user types, including oh. passwords and credit card details. Like I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, what does just it do? in case, just in case, you know, someone in the in the company at the Johnson Corporation uses their password to. In that way, we don't have to keep guessing the passwords. Okay. Okay. That's great. Um, uh, let's just roll to see if your if your, if your programming uh, uh, works. Let's do a decipher code check. Okay. Ooh, that is an eleven. Oh, uh, you feel pretty confident that this logger is. High quality. Um, yeah. uh, you, it's only on the laptop right now. You would have to uh, uh, somehow transfer it or install it somehow into the Johnson Corp. Well, uh, in, inter, int, intranet. Yes, I'm going to send a phishing email to to their employees to uh, the whole employee list. Okay, so, so you'll write some sort of a script that uh, is just sort of any email address at johnsoncorp.net. Actually, I'm going to send a phishing email to whoever runs the commissary. Okay. Because all we need is to get in, right? Sure, We sure. don't need any one specific person You don't know what you need yet, in. yeah. No, I just need in, and then the keylogger is like its own, and I'm, I'm putting it in some sort of sure. virus this into the This is a pretty, I mean, Johnson Corp is on lock, so this is gonna be a pretty hefty challenge. Yeah, that's challenge. why I'm gonna go with the commissary So let's person. go for uh, persuasion, because you're gonna try to persuade this person to open the email, respond, and give, give up their- You just uh, gotta uh, click on the link. Click on the link, exactly. <laughs> so roll and add your persuasion. Okay. Ooh. Uh, what was oh, on? that's a uh, 10. What did you roll on Eight. the ten? That's a that's I mean oh, that's duck. a crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. In this system, Natural it's a very baby. forgiving system. I'm learning. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this code and I'm gonna do like you know hot deals on hot pockets. Okay. And. Um, <laughs> And but then when they click, when whoever runs the food store or the you know the lunch sure. area is going to click that link because they're going to want the hot deals on the latest hot pocket flavor, which is pepperoni pizza. And uh, when they click on that link, the keylogger is going to install itself into the mainframe of the entire corporation. Mm -hmm. We'll say that uh, uh, you you found uh, that the the lady who runs the commissary is Janice, yeah. and um, she does have an email address at the company. And you've sent the email. You don't. Uh, there's no response yet. Yeah. Don't know how often she checks. She's serving food all day. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you feel pretty confident that if she checks her email, if she clicks on this, you might get some piece of information back uh, right. later. Right. Um, Can we the, look through the uh, the security cameras to see uh, where the most heavily guarded areas are sure. at, the John, at, at Joko? At Joko, go ahead. Uh, yes, let's roll just a, per, a perception check. Uh, that's a six. Six, okay. Uh, you spend some time looking at the... Um, Joko? 
at the uh, <laughs> at the feeds. Um, and uh, it's a pretty big building, so there's a lot of cameras, there's a lot of uh, elevators, there's the big, beautiful lobby, um, there's 12 stories of offices. Um, there are, uh, you do notice a bunch of guards mm -hmm. uh, at the front. Um, they're also posted at the side and rear of the building. Uh, there's some. There's a side entrance, there's a rear entrance. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you notice that uh, from from the floor plan, that most of the floors are kind of the same. It's a lot of cubicles. It's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. computers. But the third and fourth floor, there's just not a lot of camera coverage there. Um, there seems to be some dead spaces. Maybe, maybe those cameras aren't working. Maybe those cameras don't exist because it's a sensitive area. You don't know. But the third and fourth floor both seem a little dim, uh, dimmer than the rest. And then any. Uh uh, with that, is there any chance uh, I notice if there are less guards at the front side or rear? There are definitely less guards at the side and rear, but those are also uh, um, they're uh, they're not as heavily trafficked. Uh, they, those doors also seem to be locked, locked. like they require uh, either a, a key card or a buzz to to be let let in. Whereas the lobby, you know, you can just walk in and talk to sign in with the security guard, etc. Sort of over his shoulder, and I'm trying to f f figure out those. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh God. My bad. Yeah, no, it's all right. Uh, you smell good. Um, the uh, the the security footage. Cube. Those locked doors. Do I see no. anyone using uh, uh, a key card or something to get well, in there? Well, you can roll a perception check as well to see. Uh, I think I have. Oh, uh, seven total. That's pretty good. You spend some time uh, looking. The, the hour is almost up at this point, but you do see that yes, they are using key cards to get in. Okay, um, so I would like to zoom in. I'd like to like freeze frame and enhance. zoom in. Enhance. 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 I would like to enhance. Uh, Enhancing in this game system is an auto success. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is say the word enhance, and it just you happens. You don't have to roll for it. <laughs> uh, uh, the on, screen, the on screen doubles in size and triples in size, and you can definitely see the key card. They have um, uh, uh, pictures of the person who's wearing the key card, yeah. um, and it seems to open by some sort of you know electronic connection. It's not inserted. It's like sort of waved over. Uh, a console and it and it opens. Can the, I see the name with, with the enhancement? Can I see the you're name? You're doing on a it? deep enhance. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, for this to read a name, let's let's roll for this one. Sure. Um, uh, go ahead and roll and see. This is a perception check. Uh, nine. Okay. Um, that's a pretty good roll. Uh, you do get uh, you get the first name pretty clearly. It's Brick. And the second name is Ra, but his thumb is covering most of it. It's Brick uh, is the first name, and the last name is R O something. I would love to cross reference Brick R O uh, against, I mean, we're in the system, right? So I'm going to look for any Brick R O in an attempt to get a phone number so that I can call uh, and say that there has been a problem with their key card mm. and we need them to report to security. Sure. You're going to. Uh, uh, you've already got access to uh, the security uh, of, of the of the cam of the uh, facility, cameras, controls, uh, that sort of thing, uh, elevators, whatnot. Um, the uh, the company directory is password protected, wow. and you will you will need to to get a password to get through it. Um, come on, uh, Janice, come through. Click the link. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, why don't you? If you're gonna try to, are you gonna try to guess the password? Or are you gonna try to? Yeah, because you know I have a pretty high decipher code here, so I'm going to. I mean, it can't be that much different than like a blockbuster security system, right? Or the public library. So I will try and and hack it. Are you guessing or hacking? You're hacking. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, all right. Let's have you hack for it. Yeah. <laughs> This is exciting stuff, guys. Let's do a <laughs> uh, let's do a computing check. Roll that d8, and this is a very high DC. Do I have a compute? Or this is it's the bottom one. Skills. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a six total. Six total. Yeah. Uh, you you get through, but uh, some something happens um, in your uh, in the code that you insert, and um, it seems to be hitting a wall of some sort. Um, you're getting 
what you quickly identify as a ransomware bebop generator. Oh, there's a bebop. Uh, and uh, and it's just, it's giving you a code, and then the code's changing, and then the code's changing again, and then the code's changing again, Shit, so. It's twiddling its own system. Yeah, yeah it's it seems to be stuck in a loop, and you're just not getting that password, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Um, could have been worse, could have been rock steady. <laughs> um, <laughs> The uh, your mind or any anything else you guys would like to do because uh, yeah I'm gonna scooch in uh, next to Jink at the computer. Do you mind if I take a look at the laptop? Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, I want to dive under the hood of this thing and see if I can uh, suss out any uh, spyware or daemons inside the computer they've given us so that we're not gonna. I want to find if we're gonna be patsies. Oh, oh here. great idea. Um, awesome. Yeah. Why don't you do uh, an investigation check or a computing check? Your ch your choice. All right. Uh, or computing. It's all computer computing. stuff. Computing. That's an 11. Okay, uh, you sorry. find several different uh, 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 monitoring uh, apps and software uh, uh, included on this laptop, uh, all with the hallmarks of NSAA coding. Uh, it's sophisticated. Uh, and it seems to be hardwired into the system. You could attempt to disable or disconnect these uh, systems. There's one system that seems to be monitoring the audio. There's one system that seems to be monitoring your keystrokes. There's uh, there's some sort of a, a homing beacon that's installed in this thing. They are definitely watching you. Let me try to cut the homing beacon. Maybe I can help. Also, I like your finger style. Cool. I have some um, experience with, you know, government agencies, so maybe I've seen this before. I don't know. You're a total uh, wizard, yeah. So she she sort of like like puts her puts her hands under his hands on the keyboard. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> this is hot. And starts straight to straight up from Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Starts to look. <laughs> Nineteen ninety. <laughs> also applicable. <laughs> no pogs for that. Um, starts, you know, God, if only. diddle daddling. Looking through to see if she recognizes the code, if she's recognized, if she's sure. seen this before, maybe in one of her other government hacking jobs. The the code, uh, like I said, is extremely sophisticated yes. uh, in this, and so it, this is less of a coding type of a skill check mm -hmm. and more of uh, an acrobatics skill check to see if oh. your fingers together, working in concert, are fast enough uh, to to navigate through. Through the codes um, to, to identify the binary, to find the C. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll with Evantage. Oh, good. Oh, man, this is trickier than Super Contra. <laughs> Four. Four. So the thing that you feel most is some sort of a, <laughs> a sparkle, a warmth. Oh, uh, my hip boner? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah it's real high. It's really high. <laughs> Your fingers touching each other just feels so comforting and relaxing to you. It, it's like they're moving in a symphony together. Oh. Uh, it's like uh, every time you reach the, for the enter, uh, uh, the, the carriage return button, his pinky also reaches. And it's like you guys are moving as one. And it's very beautiful and fluid. It's like a ballet. Um, however, the code eludes you. And uh, the encryption is just too thick to decrypt. You cannot disconnect the homing beacon that's installed on this laptop. It was worth a shot. But you guys, we've got to do this. Dehan Johnson yeah. is going to corrupt the internet. And the internet's supposed to be a pure place. Yeah. we got to stop that from happening. I just can't believe Ruination is local. In our own backyard. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got a car. Yeah. And car you do. Uh, after an hour, um, uh, Agent Nobody comes back and escorts you down to your vehicle. Uh, uh, Can I check if Janice has responded to the email yet? Sure, go. Uh, you check. No. Are there's, you taking the laptop with us? Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Um, uh, there's no response yet. Okay. But keep checking. As we as we descend to the car, I just want to see if she's got a real limp or not. If she's got a what? If she's really limping or not. If she's really Kick what? Me in the knee? No, no. Oh, I just want to see. I want to pay attention as she walks. Yeah. No, I just want to see. Uh, is, it, is it a real knee? Roll an inside check. Um, that's an eight. Are you limping? Yeah, man. <laughs> I dropped a box of paint on my knee. I don't know. I'm just looking out for, for Lucas. That's I think all. her leg was a uh, keyboard. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm using my wheel. I have a head. whole. Uh, driving there challenge, which I'm skipping. As we're, as we're <laughs> heading in the car, I'm gonna just 
rip the sleeve off my Ooh. Power Rangers outfit so I'm sleeveless on one side. Amazing. Hey, have you ever seen Amazing. the Xena Warrior Princess? Oh my god, it's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> you look, like, your arms look like Gabrielle's. Is that the giant arm on that Thanks. side? Yes, did you rip off yeah. the giant arm? The giant. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Lou, uh, Lou, sorry, uh, Compost Guru is driving you all. You all squeeze into this Toyota Tercel. Would you like to describe the vehicle Yeah, at all? it's a white Toyota Tercel. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> like, my uncle took zero care of it, and it would like, mm. and he lives upstate, so like, it rains a lot there, so the painting is fucked. Uh, <laughs> is the uh, roof like bowed, you know? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, like of if any of you guys are tall, you're gonna have to. You're gonna just have to be like this. I'm just pushing uh, up the roof. And uh, it's one <laughs> also I've also I've got a full CPR dummy, so somebody's gonna have to ride in. The, somebody has to get in the trunk. Uh, but there's a seatbelt back there. I wouldn't. I would not. I, I wouldn't ask anyone to be unsafe. Uh, <laughs> That's a seatbelt. Uh, there's only room for all of us, and is somebody gonna lap up. Uh, no, it's uh, somebody has to. Uh, I mean, I guess we could put the dummy in the back, but that just. I, that's not. I guess we could lap up if two people need to sit on each other's laps. I don't know. Feels like you and your arm kind of need your space. I'll just take and the trunk. That's fine. No, you should sit up front with me. I really okay. Yeah, and then I guess I'll take the trunk. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn it. I'll take the trunk and I'll take the laptop with me and see if I can check my email while we're driving. <laughs> sure. You try to get some service uh, on the road. Uh, there's not a lot of great uh, cell service uh, out here in 1995, so. <sighs> Still no response yet. Um, uh, Compost Guru, there's no GPS, and you were given uh, an address, and you do have a Thomas guide, yes. but uh, how you're going to have to navigate your way there, so I'm oh, going to need right. a, well, a navigation I'll probably check. take the 101 downtown, but then we'll have to figure that stuff out. Are you good at reading? Uh, I'm, I'm really good yeah, at reading You're starting around and... Marina Del Rey, oh, so you're okay, going to shit. So we're going to have to get on the 81. <laughs> that'll take us to the 110, and that'll get us to downtown, then we'll have to figure this shit okay, out. Okay, go ahead and roll for navigation. <laughs> Uh, that is an eleven. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. You uh, you get there. Uh, I drive around all the city in an ambulance all the time, so I'm pretty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you do get there. However, right at You're the off ramp. <laughs> <laughs> He's a teeny MT. Well, yeah, it's a volunteer program. Oh, yes. I don't get to touch anything, <laughs> and they honestly yell at me if I try and do stuff. Okay. But I watch. I watch. Um, uh, by the way, among the things that were given to you, you do have some other uh, items. In oh. your that's that are already it should already be under oh. equipment in your uh, character sheets. I've got two yeah. adrenaline shots yeah. and uh, a bunch of mystery yeah. pills. Yeah, you do because you steal drugs. Oh, <laughs> do we? Did we ever get a look at that photo from the extra? Or, the, um, the, enhancement. the enhancement of brick. Oh, a, a photo of what he looked like. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, he's. Uh, you can't tell his height from the photo, mm -hmm. um, but he seems to have male pattern baldness yeah. and uh, and wears glasses, um, and he uh, seems to be wearing, um, at least in the photo, a, a wide collared uh, shirt, mm -hmm. uh, tie, and and some uh, and a brown uh, suit coat, um, and coincidentally, that seemed to be what he was wearing in the uh, in the video footage as well. Well, I work at Doan's Fabrics, I know you and do. I have a craft supplies <laughs> kit, so I'm gonna look at. He's, uh, my fellow teammates here and find out like who's willing to shave their head for male pa pattern baldness because I have an idea. If I can make like a disguise, you know what I mean? I can make you look pretty much like Brick. Maybe we can just go up to the guy or the person in the front lobby and they can issue us a new key card. You gotta sort of be similarly um, sized though, right? So yeah. I, I am really good with numbers. So I'm gonna look at this image and I'm gonna try and figure out based on how close he is to the door, uh, and mm. sort of a the door. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna mm. pull out my calculator, which I have, and start fucking running numbers with my one hand. <laughs> sure. To figure sure. out how tall this guy is. Right, go ahead and run a. Um, I don't know what check this is. Medicine check. <laughs> 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 That's a uh, six. It's a hell of a system. Total four, four plus two. Okay. I mean, it's like a 45 minute drive. I have some time. Yeah, totally. You guess that he's between five six and five ten. Kind of hard to say. Ooh, that's a big okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a very good roll. Uh, um, and you guess that he's uh, he's a pretty skinny guy. Um, uh, from from that, you would you would figure probably that Nerf Worm over here is probably the best physical match for him. So I was thinking, that he's... you gotta shave my mullet. Yeah. yeah. Just the top of it. All right. Yeah, this is the quickest so, <laughs> part to go back. <laughs> Wherever he's sitting, I sort of like jump, Bojinx jumps over with like a razor. It's like, hold still. 
and like shaves the top of his head. Are you rough with this? Or no, you, okay. I mean, no, it's just efficient. But also as she's doing, she's like sniffing his collar. And I, what smells <laughs> What smells does she get off of, off of your collar? CK1? Uh, patchouli. <laughs> patchouli, okay. Yeah. Patchouli's nice. <laughs> oh, this is going great, guys. So I'm giving him a male pattern baldness-ish situation and I'm quickly pu- putting together um, a brown suit. It's not great, you know, it's kind of a hack job. <laughs> um, we are in the car and I only have 45 minutes, but. To make a suit. To make a, <laughs> to a make whole a suit. suit. Well, you have pants on. We're just gonna make a we're gonna make a blazer, and that's it. You can roll uh, uh, a, a deception check or a sleight of hand check, whichever you would like God, to do. The stuff you get done if you're not watching movies like me. I mean, you could hack nine. the Belgian government and be good okay. sewing. You feel yeah. pretty confident about the haircut, the suit. You know, you don't really have the the materials to make a, a fine suit, but it, it seems servi- it's serviceable. Of, what is it made out of? Like car oh, seat. Yeah, no, no, I have a supplies kit. You know, I work at Joann's. Oh, oh so you Bo-Ann's? Bo-Ann's. Bo-Ann's. Yeah, Joann's. 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 <laughs> it was Joann's. Listen, I work at Joann's. Uh, I, got a, I get a discount on the surplus fabric, sure. so I do have a lot of like sure. sort of office looking cheap uh, surplus yeah, yeah, fabrics, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. in my um, backpack. And there it is. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hardwire a. I'm gonna so take off part crap. of my. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take off part of my earpiece, and I'm gonna hardwire another earpiece so that we can have like a walkie-talkie system, Whoa. so oh. that we can talk to each other that when he's arm in is the so building. So big. <laughs> uh, just, just, just with you and Nerfworm. Yeah, so that if he goes in, oh, then sure, we sure, can sure. talk to him in the car. That's great, 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 great. Are you trying to make this concealed in his ear, or is it an over-ear, like Walkman-type earphone? I'm gonna make it, okay, You know that's a good, I'm gonna take the Walkman <laughs> and make it look like he has a Walkman, but it's actually wired to talk to us. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, go ahead and make a knowledge check. Not a hardware check? Oh, or a hardware check, sorry, you're the oh, hardware yeah, yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hardware check for sure. It's a big, big Fuck skill. Yeah, thirteen. Nice. Ooh, the DC was twelve, so you Ew. made it, <laughs> uh, which I just made up on the spot. Um, <laughs> uh, and y- you pre- feel pretty confident. You tested in the car a couple times. Check, check. Um, Scruff in the system. Wow. Crunchy, crunch. Yeah, I grok you loud and clear. Sweet. Uh, the, the, the um, you can hear her pretty well. The messages back to you, uh, Wire Wizard, are a little garbled, but you can still hear the gist of what he's saying. I just glorked my own program. It's okay, it happens the best. Um, Screech! You guys arrive (laughs) uh, at Johnson Corp Tower. It's a plain black and gray and glass office building, 12 stories tall, has an underground parking garage, big main entrance. You've seen a lot of this on the security uh, cameras already. Um, There are guards posted, there are cameras everywhere. what would you like to do? Uh, what, what's the plan of attack here? Yeah, are you just like, gonna go in the front door? Uh, uh, Decide it. Like, which one we want, which entrance do we want to use? We could use maybe. I mean, you said the third and fourth floor is also low on security, that, right? Well, that's supposedly where. That's like, yeah, the cameras not the cameras aren't active there. Okay, so we're gonna need to knock out some of the security cameras until we get up to the third floor. And he's gonna need just one a, of these. And oh, you have one. Yeah, it's blank. We can make it look like anything we want. Right, and I have this, and I'll pull out a desktop computer. <laughs> a desktop? <laughs> in this okay. car? And I think um, I have my own laptop, how too. How are you going to plug these things and a desktop. in? Well, you do. I also have a rewritable r- disk drive that I'll uh, pull apart and plug into the um, <laughs> heating uh, cigarette. <laughs> yeah, my cigarette holder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, with so you're plugging in a full desktop yep. computer into the cars. Yes, this um, is how I remember the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Power, so it's like a fucking chest bike. It's huge. Um, it's we live from in the Nordverse, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna have there, you. I'm gonna have you doors. make a, uh, a, a hardware check, and uh, and Lou, com- Compost Guru, you're gonna have to make. Uh, a hardware check also to see if your car's battery can provide enough power oh for this God. move. <laughs> I'm pulling out the two laptops like, hello. Oh, we're good. Uh, uh, Alex, can you help me with this one? Yeah, right? sure, this I'll, I'll run back up. I really, I really need help. So charged. But the can desktop I? is much more powerful and has That's the true. CD-ROM writable right, disk right, drive. Right, right. I'm realizing that Wrigley's is plugging in trouble. the cigarette lighter poorly and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hardwire 
some more of my cables in and go straight to the the battery. Yeah, bypass it. Bypass, bypass it. Okay, what did you roll? I tried to set up a DVD player in here last summer, so it's a nine. <laughs> okay, it's, it's okay. There's some sparks coming out of it. It doesn't look like it's going to hold very hard. But DVD players in the 90s. So there's this brand new thing. It's called a DVD. Okay, what was and it it's set for? it's good. A uh, digital video disc, I think, wow. and I, it's going to change the world. Uh, but I tried to. Uh, I don't understand what's it for. What nothing's going to overtake like, laser disc. It, it was developed in 1995. It's brand new. It's crazy. <laughs> it hasn't come tech, out yet. Dude. He's right. Uh, you get a bonus point for that. <laughs> uh, but so I, I got, I got one, and I, and I didn't, I like, but I didn't want to share it with anyone else in my family. So I tried to hook it up in my uh, uncle's car. Uh, but yeah, it didn't work. Uh, barely. The, uh, the, the battery seems to be. Oh, okay. I'll give some gas. It's, it's, it's not going great, but you're going to try to hardwire the into the into the battery. Okay, He's already set up the DVD. I'm going to just. Do a hardware check, but at disadvantage, because he's already, it's already not going great. You rolled a nine, though. I, it's not going great. Okay. This, my system is flawed. I have to make you lose sometimes. What is that? What are we, what are we trying to get here? They're trying to make the battery, battery work so that they can burn a. You, what do we say? What are you trying to set up? I'm trying to access the security system so when he like touches it, I can open it and it looks like he has okay. access. I see. What'd 13. 13. Okay, the battery is holding for now. Now it's up to you, Christian. Uh, make your check to Wrigley. see. Wrigley! Sorry. Wriggle me this. Wriggle me this, 89. This. Did you. Did, what did you roll for uh, for your check? I rolled a, and what was it? What kind of check, check uh, was it? It was a, I think a hardware check. I rolled a uh, four. Okay, okay. Uh, the CD uh, writable uh, drive, uh, you managed to s get that key card in there, into the uh, into the drive, and it uh, the laser uh, goes passes over it. It seems to be writing code. It comes out, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks like it worked. Looks pretty good. Okay. I think this will work. Um, uh, time is ticking. It's now, uh, it's approaching four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Business is going to close let's, at about five. Let's walk this plan through. So you're going to go in. Yeah. You're going to try the key. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, plan B. You go to the security counter and you say your key card's not working. Okay. Or you lost your key card because they're going to want it back. You know what I mean? You lost your key card. You're going to need them to issue another one. That's plan B. Well, then right. what if they ask for his ID? You don't have a car. You take the bus to work. And he lost his wallet on the bus. And you lost the wallet on the bus. And if you need to stall, just ask them if they're going to Angela's. I think she's important, and everyone goes to Angela's here. Maybe they have pasta there. I don't know. That's what Jerry said. What on if the calls a diversion? But well, we are wearing these stupid outfits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so try it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> okay, we try the card. If the card doesn't work, I go to security, I lost my wallet on the bus on the way to work today. <laughs> yeah. With okay. the key card in it. W of course, of course, because that's where I keep my key cards yeah. in my wallet. Yeah. Yes. It's so dorky. Uh, and then you guys are uh, and then, and then, in my ear, right? And, yeah. Well, and yeah, and worst case, then some of us will go in, do a dance, while the other ones get up to the third floor and try to find what's What if there's just the like a window floor? to the third floor and we can just like go in Listen, without? Listen, I got a bum knee, you can try it. I gotta go in through the front door. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can I just look up and see if there's any windows open on this? I thing? mean, it's a glass building, but there are no openable windows. Oh, okay, okay, It's okay, an okay, okay, okay. office building. Okay, got it. You got yeah. this. That this is gonna office. work. Oh wait, what's the code work if it's not working? Um, um, Avalanche, for, that's good. For you avalanche. to say, avalanche. Avalanche. You'll hear it. And if it goes south, I, from, from a remote location, will open all of the doors that I can and cause a panic. Okay, avalanche is if everything has gone foobar, got it. Great. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, so uh, from the parking lot, are you going to exit the vehicle, and, and where are you going to uh, uh, Nerf Farm? In the front door. Front door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, you you. We the... saw now to, to recap. We saw the sort of the traffic pattern to get to the necessary door. Yeah, Brick when was going enhanced. through the front door. Brick was, was going through the, the back. Uh, the, okay, so we the back go. Door yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, back you're going like to go to the back door. He went in the back the back entrance and uh, scanned this key card to get in. There are guards uh, back there inside the door, Wouldn't but not outside. Would they recognize the door. if you're Brick or not? This is well, going to be great. I no, hope we, got so. I, we just shaved my head. <laughs> so, I'm really hoping it pans out. 
Does he look? I mean, at first, does he look similar to your thing? teenager? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you got grainy footage of the security. It is my special team? ability. Uh, yeah, oh, the I'm suit looks it. amazing, and well, the, the, the haircut is fantastic. Your teenager. <laughs> oh, we have special <laughs> abilities. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, my what let's do you run the play. Okay. I feel let's good. Sure. I feel good. Can well, taser. Just in case someone comes up and you can just sort of. That's a pretty good call. I'll trade switch? you a taser for you sure. Take the taser. Okay, and also <laughs> as a backup, backup, backup. <laughs> Jinx is pulling up on her laptop to check Janice one more time. Sure. Yeah. Check that email. Uh, you do have a new email. Uh, it is uh, from a hotel offering you a, a discount uh, if you go to Boca Raton. Damn it! I would like to go to Boca Raton, but not now. Okay, so then my so then what, uh, what uh, Jinx will do is then try to figure out a way to hack the ele electrical system. If all goes to pot, we just shut it down. Okay. We shut down the electricity. Okay. And then we make our way up to the third floor because that's where it's got to fucking be right at this point. Uh, according to what Lou had looked at earlier, sorry, compost guru, uh, uh, the third and fourth floors were both sort of hard to decipher from the security floor. And footage. fourth. And how many floors does it look like there are from the Twelve floor? above and two uh, two, at least two below. What am I doing? Am I and going? We're outside. We're outside. You're, outside. Yeah. You're, outside. You're in the in company parking lot. not in the garage. Right. No, yeah. Okay, cool. You find a, a, a window. Or a side door, or something. Well, like are you walking? Are you walking in? Are you walking uh, out? Uh, is you got this day. What kind of? What's the weather like today? Uh, it's it's L.A. baby. It's seventy two and sunny. <laughs> do you have any uh, uh, guru? Do you have any like um, oil or anything in the back of this car? Uh, I uh, I've got a, some shit on me, so I've I got like Vaseline like gel for burns and shit. Uh, <laughs> not what I was. Oh going yeah, for. yeah, yeah. You do. No, oh, no. you're so shiny, Dank. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> I was hoping to obscure my appearance, so it looked like maybe I got splashed with mud. F it, I'm going in. Okay. <laughs> Jinx, all those months on the Rock Source chat when we talked about our first date, I never imagined it like this. Me neither. But I'll take it. Good luck, Nerform Grim 01011. You really get me. I do. 477 143. <laughs> <laughs> what is 477? Okay. Um, uh, all right, you approach the rear entrance. Yeah. Uh, not heavily trafficked, it's nondescript. Uh, you walk up to the door, uh, there's no windows near it. Uh, it's just a metal door and it's got uh, a scannable key card reader next to it. Okay, I keep my eyes on the ground and I take out, we, we, we. You're using your fake card. My fake card, yeah, right. Card. Yeah. Yeah, you're I'm watching on the deck desktop. And she's in your, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at the You ground. got this dang? I'm pre-scowling. Look at you, you're like so I shiny. I lost my wallet you already. You got this. <laughs> you're covered in Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> Worst, you know, worst case scenario. <laughs> if they try to grab you, just run. You're so slippery. You know, right? Nobody catches a grease tank. So right. you scan the key card. Yeah. It buzzes, and then you hear eh, eh. the lock does Ooh. not open. And is there anybody around? Uh, not, not at present. Would you like to try it again? Nobody. Uh, from what you looked earlier, there are guards inside the door, but nobody outside. But like, is it a glass door or? It's a metal door. Okay, I take my backpack off and I pull out my Sega Saturn and I pull off the top and I'm gonna start wiring the, uh, uh, the Sega Saturn to the, to the, the, where the key fob, where, the, where mm -hmm. I uh, wave the card and I pull out the controller and I start doing, uh, I start doing Game Genie codes to try to get through this thing. <gasps> okay, you're gonna do Game Genie codes. Yeah. Uh, so it takes you a hot second to start wiring this yeah, thing up. Yeah, it, it's Sega Saturn into a uh, uh, Sega, uh, a hot-wired Sega Genesis cartridge. Don't challenge it, it works. <laughs> <laughs> and I oh, stick yeah. the Genesis card. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we okay, watching sorry. the security cameras? Can we see the security cameras from inside? Yes, you can see the security cameras. Um, he's he's going to start doing this. Uh, go ahead and roll a hardware check. You guys, if you want to look at the security cameras, yeah, I'm gonna you make see a if perception anybody's like, check. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know this is going to work because Sega is a master console maker and is going to last a thousand years in the business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you get on perception? What's my role? <laughs> hardware. Hardware? Ah, uh, do I have any kind of where the hell? Oh wait, are? you're you're a gamer. Do knowledge of gaming. Knowledge of gaming. Computing. Three. So that's a total of ten. Oh. 
Yes, Ooh. that's great. You definitely uh, pop the, uh, uh, the the scanner reader open. You attach a couple of wires. Uh, you're very deft at this, and you get some sort of a connection. It doesn't look like a video game, the, the, the data that's coming in through the machine. It's just a bunch of ones and zeros and uh, uh, an ASCII text. But you're able to sort of figure out uh, which way you're going. Uh, make, make, a, make a skill check here, um, a decipher code check. Okay, decipher. Uh, oh, and you guys are watching the security cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, the cameras that you guys are looking at, nobody seems to be on alert. But, but there are guards on the inside, right? There are guards, yeah. It's low, it's a four. Okay, four. Uh, the, the, the first attempt does not seem to work. The DC's gonna get a little higher. You can try it again if you'd like. Okay, one last time what before you, I bail. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, yeah, maybe Tank? Can help. Uh, Okay, well, I've rigged this to look like a game of um, of uh, Daytona USA on Sega Saturn, and I just gotta keep the car in the middle of the track and make it to the end in time. And if I can last for 30 seconds, I should be in, but I keep hitting the edges. Oh God, Never I hope you last for more than 30 seconds. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, that's good. That's good Six good, was, yeah. what's the, code, the check? Uh, uh, I said knowledge of, uh, knowledge gaming? of gaming. That's a nine. Okay. Uh, you you click uh, your your buttons your ABE your ABE up down up down up down <laughs> you do, you think pretty confidently and all of a sudden click click the door opens the Saturn goes Daytona <laughs> <laughs> the door opens because two guards have become aware that you're out there you guys missed them on the security footage they heard uh, a whole bunch of shit going on outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> and they've opened the door, and they look real surly and mean, and they're both holding metal batons. Uh-oh. <sighs> this is busted as shit. I thought we were gonna have all of this tech overhaul in the last two weeks. What the hell is going on here? Roll a deception Ooh. check with disadvantage. Yes, that was so good, though. A deception, you say? Yes. Oh, it was an eight and a two oh. for a one. <sighs> oh, they, three, that changes three. everything. They, they look at each other skeptically. The guy doesn't reach for his walkie-talkie, but he does approach you uh, pretty aggressively with his baton out and says, "Listen, kid, what the what the what are you doing back here? I don't want to curse." Okay, look, this is <laughs> easy to explain. All I gotta do is. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! <laughs> You're gonna attack? Yeah. Okay, roll roll an yeah, attack. Uh, I think we can get out of the we car. How does the system work? I don't know. It's, it should say on the weapon what the, oh, the weapon, what the roll right. is. Maybe uh, range one d four and target make a con save. But you have DC to roll 15. to attack first, right? Uh, Doesn't say what to roll. I mean, obviously uh, you're rolling a D8 to attack. I and think let's... you are beating a DC. It's a saving throw. Oh, it's a saving a throw. Con okay. save of 15. 15? 15. <laughs> Those numbers have not been adjusted <laughs> properly. That's okay. I'm going to move that no, down to a 10. Keep it. Keep it. Sounds reasonable. Uh, I'm going to move that down. Actually, I'm going to have that. That can't possibly be right. I'm going to make that an 8 <laughs> that they have to beat. Um, okay, one guy rolled. Uh, one guy rolled an eight, the other guy rolled a one. Uh, one guy saves, uh, but one guy you definitely hit. Go ahead and, and roll damage. So it's a 1d4 electric damage. Uh huh. That's a one. Okay, great. Okay, and then he's <laughs> then he's paralyzed for one round. Great. Okay. One one guard is you you see the electrical uh, current run through his body. His teeth chatter. His eyes roll back in his head, and he uh, he hits the floor. He's incapacitated, but his buddy is pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, wheels, we get out of the wheels car. back. The car. You're sprinting from the car. Oh, I, think yeah. we're all, I have my I have my laptop with me. Okay, great. And we're sprinting. I'll with the other laptop. Yeah, because we got two of them, right? I'm staying in the car. It'll take at least a round or two to get there. How fast are you all? Well, I've got my skates. Oh. You've got your skates, which no, I was told, by the oh, way, yeah, on Slack, like, were not invented until 1999, but that's okay. Did Dank leave his skateboard? I have a prototype from uh, Stetchers. Uh, Dank did leave his yes, skateboard I in the car. Was not part of the disguise? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, before we get to all of the hot skateboarding action, um, airborne. Um, let's roll to, uh, he's gonna roll to see if he hits you. Okay. Um, oh, what, do you have an AC? How does this work? Uh -huh. Defense. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. he rolled a 10 to hit. <gasps> I juke out of the way. You juke That's out of the way. That's you're in Vaseline. Yes. Oh. That's the advantage. The baton hits you dead in the forehead, but just sort of slides <laughs> off. 
with no damage. He's looking at it all crazy. Uh, let's see what it says with these guys. They only get one attack per round, so that's the end of the round. The other guy is still knocked out, so it'll be back to your okay. round, but soon. First, we're gonna check in with cool, your cool, cool. compatriots here. Um, let's roll to see, uh, just roll a d8 and see, and see what you get. Uh, th let's say that this is an acrobatics check to see if these skates actually work. Fuck, that's a one. Okay, <laughs> uh, you, take, you take two big strides and, and, then, and yeah. the wheel just falls right off, sparks fly, you eat shit on the, on no. the pavement, you hit right your knee, you take one point of damage. Oh, no, no. Because you hit right, right in your oh, knee. Uh, you're just running on foot. Uh, I'm uh, staying Rigolina. in the car, and oh, I'm staying am, in the car. Yes. Okay. So if I'm looking at the screen, is the is the uh, security guard on the? So there's the door, and 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 Lucas is on one side of the door. Is the security on the other side of the door? Is the door? The door is open. They're both there. Everyone's outside the door at this point. Okay. They 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 exited the door. It's still propped open, but they exited the door to deal with this uh, this this teen. Um, okay, I will make. I will try to access the system to make sure that that door stays open and doesn't okay. lock. Uh, you, you, you can go ahead and hack it. Uh, use a hard. Uh, use a computing check to see if you can. Seven plus five. Uh, it it seems like the door is still unlocked and it's being held in place for now. Um, uh, but we'll see if that stays on the next round. Uh, Lou and Laura, sorry, <laughs> compost and wire. You're you're just running. I'm sprinting. Okay, what's your movement? Thirty. Okay, so you get to move 60 feet okay. closer. You're, you're still probably one round away. Uh, and I'm mounted. Compost, you are mounted. <laughs> awesome. So let's say that'll double your speed. Oh my okay. God, if amazing. you can do an acrobatics check. <laughs> okay, great. Um, That's a plus one, I've got sure. this. It's a high DC. Come on, come on, come on. I've been watching Tony Hawk videos. Uh, that's a four. A four total? Four total. Okay, you are on the skateboard and you are moving, but uh, there's cars in the way. And, there, uh, and so you I just keep getting off to move around the car, <laughs> yeah. then I put it down. You're good at the- uh, Shit, another car. You can turn by leaning, okay. but you're not good at the at the kick turns yet. Got it. <laughs> so like, it's real slow turning. So uh, your movement is not doubled, it's just whatever your movement okay, is. Okay, then I'm, oh, then we're right next to each other. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll no, I, I know, it's, I, it's faster, it's faster. Okay. You're still one more round away from getting there. Uh, uh, sorry, Nerf, Nerfworm, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I reach down and grab uh, the Sega Saturn, and I say, rise from your grave! And I swing the Sega Saturn up into the, into the guy's jaw and okay. uppercut him with a okay. game console. Go ahead and roll to attack. All right. This is the guy you uh, that you uh, that you already shocked, or a different uh, the other guy? Uh, this is the one who's not shocked, the one who okay. hit, who's up. who yeah. tried to hit me. Uh, just I don't roll know. a d8 and add. I don't uh, well, add something. I I don't know. <laughs> Just roll a d8. It's a one. Okay. Oh, well, then oh it, your melee. Is melee is negative, negative two. two, so it's a negative one. Oh! oh. <laughs> so, so Sega Saturn goes with all the Vaseline, just goes shoop, <laughs> and, and rockets into the oh, building. Oh no! And it oh, smashes no, on the pavement. Sega. Oh, it, it's destroyed. You 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 shan't be using it again. Uh, the guy just kind of looks at you, puzzled. It's the next round. The guard on the floor is is recovering from the electric shock, but he can't do a move this turn. Yep, He's just it. snapping to it. He is reaching for his walkie-talkie though, oh, which he oh. might use in the next round. Uh, the other guy is going to wheel back with his baton uh, and take another swing at you. This is a 11 to hit. Uh, <laughs> How good are you? It's a 13. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't think I can ever hit you. <laughs> All the back. What are you looking at? Our uh, defense. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's defense. Great. Uh, uh, he misses yeah. again, um, and, and that's his move. He's actually, you know what? With the rest of his movement, He's gonna run back inside no! and see if he can uh, uh, get help. Uh, you do get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> you can try to do something to prevent him from going back inside. Uh, so the 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 taser takes an action to. Never mind. I don't need that. I I'm gonna fucking run and slip and slide at him. At his legs, because okay. I'm You're covered in Vaseline. Okay, he gets inside the room and starts to book it. You run and slide. You are very greasy, <laughs> uh, and you slide and try to take out his legs. Do uh, I get just grease vantage? Roll, roll, just yeah. roll an attack roll uh, and add a dexterity modifier. Oh, that's ten. 
That's 10. You take, you get him in the legs. It doesn't cause any damage, but it does slow him down so he does not get to the big red corded telephone that he was re reaching for. Take a bump and take a dive. <laughs> uh, that concludes those guys. Uh, how are you doing? I, well, she's on the ground, but she's opened the laptop, uh -huh. and I think I think what Jinx is going to try to do is check her email. Ch no, <laughs> fuck Janice. What uh, Jinx is going to do is try to set off an alarm, a fire alarm, on the other side of the building, just okay. to get people away Whew. from our boy. Okay, uh, this will take a whole round. Uh, go go ahead and do a, uh, a computing check, and let's okay. just see if it uh, if it works. Uh, okay, Ooh. doing some fast computing. <laughs> Well, that's an eight. Total? Okay. Total. Uh, you feel pretty good about it. It will take one round to do, but you send the command. And, and do I, can I have a movement? Can I get up? You can get, definitely get up and move half your movement. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna get up and uh, walk 10 feet. Hop Great. 10 Limp feet. Limp 10, 10 feet. How far am I away from You are the now, uh, I'm saying 110 feet are away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Right, because you guys are going 60 per round, yeah. and I and said two we're, rounds. We're round. Does so, yeah. Wriggle Me This still have the, did, did we'll you leave meet, the radio we'll with the Wriggle Me This? Round? Yes, you okay. will. <laughs> Radios with Wriggle Me This? Uh, yeah, I going left into it. my Walkman yeah, of, of on course, my Vaseline head. I threw it at Wriggle as I, <laughs> I, as I ran out of the car. Mode. Um, it was okay. connected to the, the, the uh, desktop. Wriggle Me This, What? are you still in the car, is that right? Yes, and I see him slip and slide and take this guy out, and I notice the red phone, uh -huh. and a thought occurs, and I start, I, I jump out of the car and I start scanning, for uh, what would be an electrical box or a telephone wire that looks like it runs directly to this building. Something that is electrically, like the, the telephone wire. The, ma the master the, telephone yeah, something like that. Uh, a yeah. console? Right, or a tower or something that if I can potentially run this car into it, it would take oh, out the wow. Destroy okay. the comms. Okay. It would also it take out the internet, because yeah. the internet yeah. is on telephone. That's true. Uh, with your vast knowledge of the internet, you know that they have a T1 connection and oh, they're, they're hardwired. Uh, you do see a telephone uh, line going into Bad. the building, but Sweet. unfortunately, you know that among you, Compost Guru is the only one who has ever driven a car. <laughs> because you're all super nerds. Uh, uh, was, so you can drive it, but it will be at disadvantage. I was riding shotgun, and, and I'm, I'm pretty, uh, you know, aware, so I was sort of paying attention. Okay, you're uh, gonna gas up the car and try to hit the telephone pole? Yeah. It's a cross, ah. it's a, <laughs> your uncle's to sell. I can feel it, it's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Okay. No! My car! Uh, so you gas up the Tercel, do a, do a uh, let's let's roll to I see can't. if. Just I know, we're a group chaos. of elite hackers, but we're Vaseline <laughs> flip and sliding <laughs> and ramming stuff. cars into things. You can do uh, an a acrobatics check or a uh, a hardware check, because because cars are hardware. <laughs> hardware, okay. Come on, baby. Batman Forever is the best fucking movie. That's a seven plus two. That's, that's really good. You start making your way across the parking lot. You're headed right towards it. It's going to take you a hot second to get there, but you're accelerating. the The steering wheel is really hard to get. This is not power steering, uh, so it's it's real janky. Uh, it's all over the place. And you is this a, a manual shift car? Or? Oh, of course. Yeah. So you're in first gear, and there's a lot of gear grinding going on. It's not going very fast, but it's powerful, and you're trying to keep it together as you're sort of uh, uh, weaving around uh, the parking lot. You look like you're in a pretty good trajectory right now. It's, okay. and you haven't hit yet, though. Uh, you two, uh, compost and wire, what are you guys doing? Just just running Charging. still? Just running. Can we get to the guard? You can definitely get there on this turn. Uh, I I think it'll take your dash to get there, though, so you won't be able to. <gasps> can I make another a, acrobatics check? Yes, you certainly can to okay. see if you can skate okay, any better okay, than okay. you did. Uh, that's another four. Okay, oh, yeah, oh. you're just not really good at skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was a car. <laughs> Where the, where's the wheel on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you both do manage to get right up to the guard who has now come back to life, um, and he's pulling his uh, his walkie-talkie no, 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 up, no, no, no. and uh, it is his turn. Ah. He's going to click on it, and he's going to say, we got an emergency. We got an emergency at the back entrance. That's his whole turn. That's his move, okay? Uh, the next guard is going to get up from where you tackled him, mm -hmm. and he's going to run over to that phone. He's going to pick it up and start dialing a couple of numbers, oh. and it's ringing. <laughs> 
Uh, now it's your turn. My turn right yes. now? <laughs> Do I see the Sega Saturn anywhere? It's in pieces all over pieces the place. Everywhere. <laughs> I said a really macabre thought, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> Are you gonna garrot the guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not appropriate. Um, oh jeez, oh jeez. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run forward and dive and grab. I'm gonna grab the phone. You're gonna grab the phone. Tackle, okay. f tackle uh, the phone. Strength phone. check. Oh boy. Come on. This is a Come big on, beefy guard. Come on, Nerf <laughs> former, former cop. Oh, that's not bad for me. Strength? Uh, I'll do a oh. contest. Negative two. It's a five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a seven yeah. minus two. What did you get? Seven minus two is five. He rolled a four. Oh. oh! And he has a zero on its strength for some reason, even though he's a beefy guard. You do wrestle the telephone out of his hand. That's your whole movement and action. Uh, that's your action. You can run if you want. You're holding a telephone now. No, I will. I will. Ooh, how long's the cord? Not that long. Oh, it's pretty long. It's one of those curly cords. <laughs> curly cords. Long, like Twenty feet. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put the phone up to my ear and we'll be like backing away from him the whole time, waiting to hear whatever the hell I'm gonna hear. Yeah, you do hear something right away. Uh, Phillips, front desk. What do you want? Uh, sorry, a uh, false alarm. Fa false alarm. See the poker game. At Angie's? <laughs> Where else do we play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I'll see you there. Twenty, uh, uh, $20 buy in. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, next round. Uh, you are just fucked up. Did it work? First of all, how far am I from the front entrance? What is going on? Mayhem. From the front entrance, yeah. uh, you're about the same distance, about 80 to 100 feet okay, from the front entrance. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking A, try to make my way to the front entrance instead. Okay. I'm going to the front. You're limping? Sure, go limping for it, that's fine. Limping easy, and, um, and did my alarm work? Oh yes, so your, uh, your alarm does go through, and yes, a fire alarm goes off on the other side of the building. Uh, it's located on the sixth floor, and uh, it's there's a there's a ringing alarm that you can definitely hear. Um, uh, it's not the entire building; it's just localized to one area. But there is a fire alarm going off. You don't know how that's gonna uh, how that's gonna affect things, but yes, it is going off. Well, either I'm assuming either everyone will leave the building, or all of the security will go into the one area. Area. So. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yep, who Can knows? Can the rocks tell us? Yes, uh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough okay, on the next round. But can I move my full movement? And, yeah, absolutely. Um, and double it, because oh, you're not really doing anything else other than just sort of That's listening. Right. Um, okay, so you're almost to the front door. Great. Uh, uh, okay, wriggle me this. You're driving at full speed towards the telephone pole in. <laughs> And I, and I have the, uh, the the headset on. Oh, you do. And I'm, and I'm also I'm watching the footage. This is going on, so this is not a pretty uh, thing. Um, and I see I see uh, Lucas all lubed up and fighting. And I don't think anyone can hear me. So I say, Holy shit, he's hot. Uh, and I am making my way towards the telephone. You're just gonna go for it. All right. I want to take out. Well, one coffee. more uh, uh, driving check. I don't know what I told you to drive last time. You were either hardware or acrobatics. It was I think. Shaved head yeah. Bullet. It covered in Vaseline. Yeah, yeah. God, that's Never There's like hot. bits of hot. Sega that's Saturn. That's a hot. Stuck that's a to me. Four hardware? Yeah. And no four. hair. And four. no hair. The car careens into the uh, the, oh. the telephone oh. pole. Oh, uh, But, I mean, it just it just hits the telephone pole. <laughs> it looks like the car is. Can I see it? Just it's pretty fucked up. Oh, no. Uh, you hear a crash behind you when you turn to see the, the front end of your car bent in. It seems like it could still maybe start, but it is heavily damaged. The telephone pole is still standing. Um, and yes, let's say that you take one point of damage. There are no airbags, so your he your head just kind of cracks into the into the steering wheel. A little bit of blood. Can I, can I uh, see uh, uh, my friend here? Yeah, he's across the parking lot, and he, he's thrashing on a skateboard. <laughs> so, do, do you have jumper cables? No! No jumper cables! No! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about your car. <laughs> Fuck you, dude! <laughs> We don't even, I don't have triple A! I have to call my dad! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna reverse and try and... No! 
Oh, sure, you can start reversing. Uh, we'll say that you, you you can try again on the next round. <laughs> oh my god. Wire Wizard, Compost Guru, that's your turn next, Wire Wizard. Uh, you're you're oh there. My god. The guy has just made a call on his on his radio. I want to just like You're standing right in front I wanna, of him. I know, but I want to have used my movement to like run up at the same time as I do this cuz I want a Superman punch yeah. with my grass oh. knuckles. Great, make an so attack. So I want to use the run for momentum. Make an mm -hmm. attack and add, Jesus, I don't know how this system works. My melee? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> oh, and you're using your super strong arm. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So it's a, uh, an 11. He, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. Oh, and it crits because I rolled a seven. Oh, snap. Uh, does it say what damage is? <laughs> yeah, a 1d4. Okay, and you'll double that dice. So four plus one is five damage. Oh yeah. Doubled or no? Oh, but I, so technically what I was doing <laughs> is I was trying to Here aim for his walkie-talkie. Trying to punch the walkie-talkie oh, out of his I, hand. Can I get, oh, out of his hand. Okay, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna try and grab the walkie-talkie. Cool. Yeah. cool. But oh. I have glasses and very poor vision <laughs> from a distance, so I don't know if as I'm running up, I won't know until I get really close <laughs> whether or not I'm aiming correctly. Okay, you're aiming for something in near his near his face, near so his I might just hand. clock him in the jaw. Okay, let's let's roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You punch something hard. <laughs> Uh, and you hear something clatter against the ground. Um, and that's, I guess. Can I tell once you know I got up what I hit? You, you crit on this hit, though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just yeah. roll and see if what you hit. Okay. Uh, something clatters across the ground. What do I see? You do I see, see, you it? see You see the man's wallet. <laughs> I don't know why he was holding his wallet, but it falls <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Did I? Yes! I want to take the wallet. Yeah, I was holding a wallet in one of his hands. I don't know, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go, 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 go for the walkie-talkie. You're going for the walkie-talkie. I'm going for the walkie-talkie. The wallet, you might have his key card in it. I don't even need to like get it from. I just want to click it as well. Okay, go and, ahead and click it and uh, do my best impression of his voice and say, "Oh, uh, the emergency is I forgot Angie's address." <laughs> 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 Oh, Roll no. a deception check. Okay. <laughs> While the guy's going, what the fuck? That's a uh, that's a two. <laughs> oh, 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 the emergency at the side door is that I forgot Angie's address. Okay. Uh, God damn it. You don't hear any oh, response. It just sort of crackles a little bit. Uh, then after a while, you just hear. What? <laughs> I'll be right there. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Can that's I get the... down on the ground and start trying to see what I what fell? I forgot that you're you're nearly blind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go go ahead and start start searching. Uh, do an investigation check with disadvantage. <laughs> okay. Investigation. Uh, five. Okay. Yeah. Y you find his wallet for sure. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna open it up. Yeah. And start seeing if I can see a key card. Uh, uh, yes, there is a key card. Ah, yes. yeah. You get it right away. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to run into the building. <laughs> okay, she's gone. Uh, great. Uh, <laughs> top of the round, uh, the guy who's heavily injured, he's the guy who had the walkie-talkie and still has the walkie-talkie. He's going to try to pull it free from you. Okay. Uh, first with a contested strength check. Just roll an eight and give me your, uh, your strength. Uh, uh, that's modifier. a five. Okay, he rolled a seven. He pulls it from you. No. And he and he uh, says again into the walkie-talkie. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, uh, back door's compromised. Back door's compromised. Get here quick. That's <laughs> that's his turn. Uh, the other guy who had been kneecapped while trying to get to the phone is now. I've got the phone. You got the phone. It. Jesus, and you're slippery <laughs> like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna try to grab you. <laughs> Um, uh, and he's going to roll, uh, uh, I guess, do a save. Do an acrobatics save here. Uh, or, I'm sorry, a dexterity save. You have to beat an eight. That's a ten. That's a ten. Yes. He just, you're just too wily. He spends his whole turn trying to grab you. Nothing happens. You're at the front door at this point. If you mm -hmm. want to go in, yeah. uh, you're in. What do you want to do? I want to go in. I want to go up to the 
lobby, sir. I love that we're empowering yourself. There is uh, there's a, uh, uh, a middle-aged woman at the, at the front desk. Oh, perfect. She says, uh, oh, hi, can I help With you? Hi, uh, I'm, um, I'm uh, Janice's daughter, and I just needed uh, to tell, I'm on my way to a, a costume party, and I forgot that I have a bunch of Hot Pockets in my uh, car <laughs> that I need to drop off to my mother because she's got to refill the Hot Pocket coffers for uh, tomorrow's lunch rush. Okay, do a deception check. Hot coffers. <laughs> Hot coffers. Where's deception? Okay, okay. Roll. That's a four. Okay, uh, she rolled really good. Um, she looks at you up and down, um, and just then she hears the fire alarm going off elsewhere in the, in the building, and she is all of a sudden suspicious and says, Janice's daughter, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, let me make a call. I'll bring her up. And so she picks up a phone and starts dialing. And uh, and I I have my tonfa. Yes. And oh god. <laughs> I use it to hit the phone, <laughs> and I'm like, she didn't tell you about me. She's and then goes into like a performance of like, I can't believe that Janice didn't tell, you know, she told me she was gonna tell So you're people. not attacking her, you're no! just trying to flail I'm about just flailing hysterically. Hysterically, it's a performance, and, and, and you know, she goes into a, a sob story about how, you know, Janice promised that she was gonna come clean about her daughter to her coworkers, and she's just tired of living a lie. Tired of living Janice alive. has had problems with her daughter in the past. <laughs> At the, in the next round, we'll see if this deception works. In the meantime, oh, man, uh, wriggle me this. How you doing? <laughs> wriggle me this. You're how you? It worse. I'm trying. You to are practice. making it worse. Yeah, well, I uh, again just struck by how like lithe and quick Lucas is, and I'm. It's it's really cool. I'm, well, he's he's being successful. I need to do something, and I I will I will. Uh, <laughs> you, it says fuck late fees. I will rip my sleeve off and I will stuff it into the cigarette holder. Okay. To catch fire. Sure. And once it catches fire, I'm going to hop out and rip open the electrical box okay. and light all the electricity. Wow. On fire. Uh, not on the car. Not on a, the you're not going to blow up my car. car. No, okay. I'm not going to blow up your car. I'm blowing up the box. I'm just going to set it on fire. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, let's roll a, a hard another hardware or computing. Ch well, no, this isn't computer. This is hardware. Uh, so go for for a hardware check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this one. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, five, uh, seven. Seven, okay. Uh, you connect this crazy, <laughs> this crazy uh, a set Music of wires, like... uh, and uh, because it's already been damaged, it's pretty easy, actually. Uh, you jam it in there, and uh, a whole bunch of sparks fly out. You do take two points of damage Ooh. from the electrical surge, but all of a sudden, sparks fly. An explosion happens at the at the electrical panel that you're at, and uh, a, a electrical uh, power seems to uh, jut up and through and to the building. <laughs> and all at once, there is a huge power surge in the building. The power doesn't go out, but it dims for a second and comes back on again. And when the power uh, comes back on, all sorts of uh, haywire is happening. There are multiple alarms now going all over the uh, on all over the building. Uh, the radios seem to have reset and are restarting, so they are, are temporarily um, uh, uh, just fuzzy with static. Um, and everyone just sort of takes a moment to figure out what what the hell's going on. Security guards at the front door are also confused. Uh, security guards at the back are also very confused. It was it was a definite jolt to the building. The power's not out, but it was a, it was a big jolt. Because of the shortage, are the doors unlocked? Are all of the locked doors unlocked? Uh, you, you can ch you can check on your uh, on your computer. Um, uh, let's say that um, here I'm going to say that uh, an alarm is also uh, going off on the entire building now. But it's a it's not a localized alarm anymore. It is a uh, it's a general sort of alert, uh, and you notice that people are starting to mill about in the building, and people who are in the front lobby are starting to leave now. Um, oh, look at this! In the commotion, uh, does does the front desk person have a key card lying around that I can? Uh, have a key card? Mm -hmm. uh, you you see a key card around her neck? Sure. 
Uh, but now she's very confused and distracted. There's a the general alarm. She yeah. says, "I think I think we need to get out of here. Uh, there's some sort of an alarm going off in the whole." I, do I see? Do I see her? No, Who? we're in no, a completely different, different area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. But first, may I hug you? I just need some motherly affection, and you know Janice. I do know Janice. Uh, we really got to get out of this building. Sure, just do a quick hug. And she, and I'm gonna try, try to unclip. Roll a sleight of oh hand God. check. Oh God. Jesus. This, is bad this is three. A true mix. <laughs> she, I will roll for her. Yeah. She, <laughs> she grabs you by the arm forcefully, <laughs> and says, "Young lady, we need to talk, but we need to get out of this building." And she starts marching you to the to the front door. Okay. Um, okay, uh, boy, where was I? <laughs> you guys, what are you doing? I'm gonna see Wizard run in the building, know that this guy doesn't have a key, maybe know that this guy doesn't have a key card anymore, and fuck the walkie-talkie. You know, clearly it's not an emergency to not know Angie's, and I'm just gonna close the door behind us. Great, easy uh, enough. And uh, follow Wizard uh, wherever she's going. Okay. All of you were inside the doors, yes? Yeah. You, When you ran 20 feet, you're still inside. I'm yeah. bobbing and weaving with this guy. Yeah. Oh, I guess, oh, I, I will run, I'm gonna close the door behind me, run up and pepper spray the guy he's Great. fighting. Great, roll to attack. Uh, okay. The first. Yeah. Uh, that's an Ooh. eight, a seven, uh, seven on the dot. Definitely hits. Uh, 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 DC 15, have to eight. <laughs> uh, or be blinded for he one. He a two. Okay, so he is blinded for Whoa. Four rounds! Wow. Holy moly, yeah. this poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> the pepper spray hits him directly in the face and nose. Tears stream down his face. Ah, I'm part time! Why would you do this to me? <laughs> he's in pain. His face is instantly reddened. He's uh, He can't see. He's walking around trying to feel where he is. He's crying. He's out of it. He's I immediately grab him by the hands and uh, spin the red phone cord around his hands yeah. and on his legs, and I tie him like a hog. <laughs> totally incapacitated. Yeah. Uh, there there is the other guard, though. He's outside the door, though. He was outside the and door. And he doesn't and he's have access because I've got. Oh, you got his card! Ah! You guys are amazing. He can hear <laughs> pounding on the door outside. Let me in! Let me in there! Oh, hey, uh, Buster, are you okay? I hear screaming and crying. Buster, my best friend for life. Are you okay? Buster. All right, he's out of it. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab. Uh, Danks, you earpiece. can't. I'm too slippery. No, well, I'm gonna, then I'm gonna just get up close to Danks. And, and yell into his ear. Uh, we got a card! We got a card! Wriggly! Um, Wriggles! We got a card! I'm Get in here! Get in here! We got a card! Uh, three of you are in the building, and there doesn't seem to be anyone uh, uh, in between you and the, and the hallway that leads uh, to more building. Two of you are not in the building. No, I'm still in the building. Oh, you are, but you're being marched out. Yes, but how uh, many people are around? There, there's a lot of people now. Dozens are are, f are flooding out of the building. Yeah. Um, but you are being held very tightly by this uh, very strong woman uh, <laughs> as she marches you out of the building. Um, I don't know what you're doing over there. Uh, wriggle me this. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Can I see the front entrance? Can I see? You can see the front entrance. And I can see her are. like. Uh, Starting to make her way out with the uh, other woman. She's just reaching the front door at this point. <laughs> okay, uh, 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 I'll say into the into the comms. I can see that you guys are in there. Um, all that matters is the mission. Keep going, and I'll run uh, towards them, and I will see this woman holding onto her, and I will toss the shuriken. What? Ah! You're gonna shuriken a guard in front. Okay. As I do it, <laughs> I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell. Go! 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 <laughs> And that's what we got injuring oh. a part-time security guard with the worst thing we All did right. today. <laughs> front desk lady. You get it. Yeah. Today. So there's a whole bunch of people leaving the building. One of them is holding Young Jinx, and you throw you have to crib. a throwing star at this middle-aged guard who's holding her. You have to go ahead and roll an attack. And we'll see what happens. So I okay, is it a melee? No, it's a, it's it's, it's yeah. arranged. So I, it's it's. Yeah, it doesn't say on the card what it to do. It says range ten feet. So yeah, and it's just a hit, right? An yeah, just roll and add your uh, your dexterity. That's a two. That's a two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't get in this building. <laughs> 
The shuriken uh, is deftly thrown, <laughs> but just goes right over everybody's head. You guys are are not athletic. Uh, the shuriken just sort of ting, 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 deeper in the lobby. Luckily, nobody heard it because there's alarms and there's all sorts of chaos going on, but you did not hit anybody. Nobody noticed this happened. You're closer, but that's about it. Can I try to step on her foot? Go ahead, make an attack roll. <laughs> I want her for it. She's got the roller skate wheels yeah, on the yeah, bottom. That's right, and one of them's the broken and janky. Baby. Oh, well, it's the other foot that I'm using. Also, wait, what do I add? Nothing? Your melee? I add melee, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Where's that? No, right of the page, on the right. Oh, that's a zero! <laughs> Okay, six. Yeah, you stomp on her foot. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll say she takes two points of damage, and for a second, she releases you okay. from her grasp. I do a little dance, okay. and I slip by. Uh-huh, and, uh, pa- you know, and you're going back in against back the in wave against of people. Against the wave, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. are very slow, and, and you have a double injured leg. I just gotta <laughs> get to my mom, Janice! <laughs> <laughs> you, re- you re- it's really hard for you to move. Uh, uh, let's just roll a, a simple dexterity check. Just roll it and add your dexterity to see how far away you get. Okay, I put far- Oh, this is the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Please. What? Zero. <laughs> You're- is it possible? You separate from her, but the wave of people exiting the building because of the of the emergency is keeping you from getting any further in. You're trying to move around, but you just can't. You're stuck there. But for the moment, she does not have a grasp on you. She's grasp. also getting pushed out by the wave of oh, people. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, she's getting get further and further her. away from you. Oh, I guess we just sit here and watch this man scream and cry until our friends get here, I guess. I guess we okay, just do they watch maybe you? hear me yell Janice? Uh, you're on the opposite, opposite side, side of the side. building, unfortunately. Uh, okay, it's time for, for, for the other Ooh. team here, the L's. Uh, Liam, Laura, uh, Lou, what are you guys doing? Uh, can we pull out the key card? I'm going to run over to the elevator and and see if I can access it. Easily the enough. Uh, it beeps, it opens. You have elevator access. Do we go up? Yes. Tell them where we're going. <sighs> Hey, you guys, can you hear me? We got access, we're in the back. Uh, I think there's only one guard on the back right there. If you wanna try, I'm not sure what to do, if we should go up, and you guys are, you know, like an eye in the sky or what? You copy? Eye in the sky. No idea. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> tell him to go to floor three. I'm not with you. I'm, I, yeah, where yeah, are we? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, what did you say? What he was said, that? He said he's going off the elevator. You did, uh, hear, did hear him. him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I know that. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, you guys hit a button. Three, three, three. 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 just three. hanging out in the elevator. You're going up the oh, elevator. Oh, you know what? I do. You guys want to pop some random drugs? Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, t- God. I'm gonna take a pill. <laughs> You're gonna take a pill. Is yeah. this one that you know of? Uh, well, it's I roll a d6. Okay. It's a let's see what you pill. got. So we'll see. <laughs> Uh, that's oh. a six, so I fall prone and my movement is <laughs> oh zero God. until next turn. Okay. Do you guys want to take some drugs? You, <laughs> <laughs> you take a quick <laughs> You take a pill and it knock, it knocks you out for a bit. It's uh, it was not what you were expecting. It was <laughs> yeah, it was a an sleeping pill. Shit. But it's a real small dosage. You'll only be out for a couple rounds. All right, let's go, Doogie Hauser. Come on, and I drag it. Oh. It's all right. I'm just uh, my car got us here. <laughs> Mess. And I will hack the system and press. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> the elevator is moving yeah. towards three. Hey, it's uh, a security card. Uh, oh, Jinx, yeah. you are still caught in the wave. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You're you, the security. Yeah, you have a security key card. You have access to every floor. You're a- absolutely going up to the third I floor. Yeah. I was just pressing. Through. Okay, yeah. you, Jinx, you are still caught in the wave of people. It's starting to pull you out how, of the building. How far am I Please from the elevator? Please do something good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I could take my 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 tomfa. Okay. Yeah. Great. And um. Start poking people. Poke to, away. To, to, <laughs> Let's you know, roll for move poke. out of the way. Roll and give me a melee attack. Good old Tom I, Johnson. Uh, a melee attack. Where's that? Oh yeah, I have zero. Six. 
Okay, yeah, you poke. So I'm starting very to poke. Successfully. You know, it's not dangerous, but it's just like move, you're poking move, people move. away. Hey, what are you, what are you sorry, doing? Ow! Come on, I'm like, trying to exit. Okay. I hear you. Oh, you're friends with Janice? Yeah, oh, well, come on, go through, go through. <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah. so they let you through. You're you're almost to the bank of elevators. Yes, um, yes. Uh, you're almost to the bank of elevators. Um, can I? Do I find? Is there a friendly face or someone that looks a little bit like non-threatening around? Uh, there there are several employees who are fleeing in a hurry. Uh, there's one gentleman. Uh, uh, he's an older African American gentleman, and he's just gotten off the elevator. The elevator door is still open. Open, okay. Oh, gentlemen, excuse, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting to Janice. Oh, hello. Yes, hi. Hi. I'm, I'm Janice's daughter. You know Janice from the commissary. You look just like I her. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I just, I just, can I borrow your key card real quick? Just, just a, a quick swipe. Oh, I think we're supposed to leave the building. No, actually. I know, but you know, the <laughs> thing is that uh, Janice is counting on me. Counting on you to do what? To deliver some hot pockets. For the lunch rush tomorrow. Oh, everybody likes Hot Pockets. Everybody. It's 1995. <laughs> yes. Um, but you know what? Janice does like Hot Pockets. What's that other food that she loves so much? She flashes a ring pop. Okay, roll for deception with E Vantage. All right. <laughs> deception, right? Yes. Okay. Four. You get to roll twice. Oh, oh yes, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Oh, five. Okay. <laughs> Who doesn't love a ring pop? <laughs> he lets you right through, uh, and he says, I can't give you my key card, but I will, swipe I'll, it, swipe I'll swipe it, it for Thank you. Thank you so much, swipes it. All right, and have fun hits, with Janice. She hits three. Okay, great, you're on your way. Um, wriggle me this. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> I'm going to, uh, so so where am I, where am I exactly? You are uh, probably <laughs> 20 feet away from the, from any entrance that you will, would have wanted to go to. 20 feet. The back door or the front door? Which way did which way did you go? Where was the electrical box? Because I was. Uh, it, it was probably in between both. So, so you can. Okay. So I'll, I'll go towards the front entrance. Way. Front entrance. Yeah. Okay. See her. There's a wave of people coming out of the building. Right. I will. Um, <laughs> I know this Dance. is so um, intense. This music. <laughs> I. Go crazy. I will very confidently. I will remove my hoodie. Uh huh. I will. Very confident that you were wearing over your like her jumpsuit. Yes. That I was, yes, that I was wearing over my Power Rangers jumpsuit. <laughs> and I will, I will, um, I will approach. Are there people helping everyone out of the building? Security is ushering everybody out of the building. Yes. Okay. Um, I, you see some people um, uh, uh, walking out. Some people running out. You actually see. Uh, uh, you actually see. There was two window washers on a window washer basket. They're actually lowering themselves down. How far? Uh, how far down are they? Uh, they're 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 now on the second floor, moving down quickly because they've got to get off of this thing too. <laughs> the devil tempts. Um, I I I will stick with my plan. I will okay. walk up um, to whoever looks like they're in charge uh -huh. with my headset on, uh, and I will say, um, "Excuse me, I'm from security systems. This alarm, I'm here to fix it." Uh, can you lead me to the operating system, please? Okay, you are also happen to walk up you. straight to the woman who uh, who Amy was just talking to. Sure. She is confused, she's baffled, she's looking behind her at where did that young woman go, Janice's daughter. She turns to you, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm what? With security what? systems, I have to address this alarm system immediately. Can you please take me to the main operating system so I can address this situation? You seem so confident. Uh, roll with advantage to see if you can deceive me. <laughs> All security personnel wear um, oh. hot Leotards. pink Power Rangers outfits. <laughs> Seven, uh, but minus two, so five. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. We're like the bad luck. I'll, I'll roll need. for her. She got a one. <laughs> I eat my word. From okay. from your uniform, I can tell that you are legitimate. <laughs> yes. uh, Special issue. The magenta color is very flattering on you. you. It hugs your hips nicely. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, of course. Go go through this alarm is super annoying. Please go go turn it off. Uh, I, but before I leave, I'll say, oh, thank you very much. But um, I love your haircut, and I'll oh. walk away. Well, thank you. You're welcome. What a nice young man. She walks off with a little spring in her step. She's gonna have a great rest of her day. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, you're in, you're in the lobby. Everyone is in the building, and it seems like nobody else is, at least at the moment. The alarm, for the love of God, stops. <laughs> Did she point me towards the security, like the, the, the room? No, she knows that you know where it is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, 
point. But, but you let him one. know, so he knows. Yeah, so we can get yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we have talk. You have walkie-talkies. You guys are in the building. This is this is a big deal. Um, I can't. I don't know how to turn off the alarm. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna just happen. I hope it's gonna happen. Um, and you, uh, for the sake of brevity, you all make it to the third floor without fail. The alarm, for the love of God, does go off eventually. You make it to the third floor. You uh, you make it to uh, a room uh, that is labeled Johnson Corp Mainframe. Um, it is a sparkling room um, with uh, with incredible amounts of computer uh, computing power. Um, hold on, let me find where I am here. Uh, it's got large screens, ports to jack in, giant banks of storage disks. You look across the room and estimate the raw hard drive space in this room to be up to two gigabytes, an unimaginable amount of space. This is a hungus amount of giga. There is a, <laughs> a constant hum and a sub subtle vibration everywhere, two like episodes. machinery yeah. is working hard. Um, uh, as you as you enter this room, your laptop, we'll say you're all together again, your laptop rings and you are greeted by the face of Agent Goldstein once more, the, the gentleman uh, who has been oh. pre-recorded oh. messages oh, no. to you all night. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll ask uh, what he says on this video recorded message. It's me again, pimple poppers. <laughs> if you're hearing this message, you made it to the laser maze, finally getting through <laughs> the entrance to the building, which was painful at times, I'm sure. Could thwart even the, the greatest <laughs> agent. But, I guess you think you're hot shit. Well, guess what? When you feel that way, you're gonna feel that way, obviously, <laughs> until you get real responsibilities in the world. When you pay your mortgage, when you've got to do your own taxes, when you're married to a woman who hates you, and you wake yourself up every night with your own farts. You think you're grand now, but it doesn't last. Eventually you get wrinkles, and you get sadness deep in your heart. I hate you, I hate all your stupid faces, but good job, proud of you. Yeah. Anyway, back to Electronic Maze, or the E-Maze. You'll find a bunch of mirrors in your gear. Use those to circumvent the lasers and cross this room. But do not make a mistake, or very bad things will happen to you. Get to that mainframe and jack off in it. Jack, <laughs> get to jack into jack into the mainframe and no. jack off on. Get on the mainframe and, and, and jack in hard as you can. <laughs> that is where the virus is stored. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look at in, uh, across this large room at where the mainframe is across the room, and yes, you can see there is a level four pulse wave laser array, which will sound even more alarms more. if tripped. The laser cannot be turned off except from a, some sort of remote location. The only way through is to redirect the lasers in a way that you can pass through them without tripping them. And we will get to that challenge after we take a quick <gasps> break. <laughs> Boy, that took a long time wow. to get you guys in the building. <laughs> you underestimated how stupid we were. I did, I did. Uh, but we will, ooh, look, lasers, Laser. guys, lasers. Oh. Oh. I've seen this movie with Catherine Tate and Joe. Yeah, yes. we're gonna look so hot. Um, yeah, with my boobs. We're gonna take a quick break while our team gets re ready for lasering. And when we come back, there's gonna be more hot computing action when NordVPN presents Generation Nord Returns. <laughs> Millions use NordVPN to protect themselves from cybercrime. People working from any place with internet access. Heroes on a mission. Travelers using unsecured public Wi-Fi. And the ones who have an app for everything. Get the NordVPN app today and be safe online, no matter what you're up to. NordVPN. Oh, hey, it's me, Black Willow 69 Will our heroes ever make it to the server room? Can they crack the owl? Can they crack the code and defeat Ruination? If only they'd had a tool like NordVPN, the best and leading VPN service in the world, they might not have blundered through the first half so blindly. With NordVPN, you can browse the internet safely, but most importantly, freely. 
even when traveling abroad so you don't miss your favorite content. Why should one use NordVPN? Because it keeps all your data safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. You can change your IP twice and cover your web traffic with an extra layer of security. And of course, you can use the threat protection to avoid online hazards like viruses, infected websites, and trackers. Ruination? Oh, couldn't stand a chance. If you're not using a reliable VPN, your private information can be easily accessed by third parties. So get NordVPN and protect yourself from them prying eyes. With this exclusive deal, you can get four months for free on a two-year plan here. NordVPN.com slash Critical Role. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Stick around as our heroes blunder their way through the second half, wishing they had a tool like NordVPN. See you soon.
Welcome back to Generation Nord, brought to you by NordVPN. Lasers. You are in a room filled with lasers. Please. You cannot trip on these lasers or bad things will happen. Mm. You are also in the room that is adjacent to the mainframe. You see the mainframe in front of you, the consoles just across the, the floor, 20, 30 feet away from you. Being this close to the mainframe, the awesome computing power of, of the, jo uh, the Johnson Corp mainframe, something happens to those suits that you were wearing before. They transform, oh. enacting unheard of powers. You, slightly, you feel slightly more powerful than before. Your suits have become embiggened. With the computational power of the mainframe, your senses, senses heightened, your intuition firing on all parsecs. Oh, is my knee healed? Your knee is totally healed. Whoa! Can I see? You cannot see. No, yes, <laughs> yes, you can see. Let's my say knee? that you before you were you were two, tw 2200 vision, now you're oh. 2100 vision. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Uh, you hear a squawk in your new uh, headsets that m manifest themselves on your head. It's uh, it's Agent Nobody saying, the jumpsuits we outfitted you earlier with were just in case you made it this far. You'll see that each of you have one new piece of gear that only manifests in this digital environment. This technology, we you're all, we're almost, we're digital adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> this technology is untested, unproven, but it might be exactly what you need. Wrigley, uh, wriggle me this 89, what do you have? Well, th it's, it, uh, this is, how did you get my schematics? Th this is what I was we working it. on. We are also <laughs> hackers. <laughs> oh! -ho! It's a shiny, metallic, uh, like armor, but very flexible. It's a cybernetic arm that fits over your actual arm. And it allows me, with a, a, a pool of a couple of thugs here, I can hack and jack into any system. Hack and yes. jack. Oh. And you get a little bonus to strength. Uh, Nerf Worm, or whatever your name is. <laughs> uh, what do you have? It's, sim it's similar, but different. Well, despite my obsession with Sega, I have an all-purpose console power glove. <laughs> That will help me game with power. I forgot that's what you said. I was like, we're yeah. Break. <laughs> As you know, power gloves can project telekinetic force across the room what? with the power of, of gaming. Wow. <laughs> so you can cast telekinesis at a 25 oh foot God. range. Oh, Damn. The power to move. <laughs> Jinx, what do you have? You know, I don't know. Actually. I will tell you what you have. You have a headband with a third <laughs> eye, although I only see two up there, but, but there's there a third. There are two, so that <laughs> means I have four. It really makes your hair look great, but yeah. also it has a, a glowing essence, like a third invisible eye. When used, it instantly searches the worldwide database for insight about one question Fabulous. or topic. Okay. Basically, you get one answer that you need. Love it. You get a strength boost, Christian. Thank you. Uh, uh, Alex, sorry, uh, your real name is Wire Wizard. Yes. <laughs> what do you have? Do you know what you have? I, I can tell I you. I think I have uh, these, this thing and this thing. Yes, you have a headphones with a visor. Yeah. Um, they're uh, big wired over ear headphones that are attached to your wall Walkman device. Um, when used, it will play a top 100 song from 1995 for inspiration, <laughs> and you will get a plus two to all ability checks while the song is playing. Whoa! Yes. Compost Guru. Uh, I have this kind of like Iron Man, uh, it, it, you, you know, it's will, will inspire John Favreau in the years to come uh, for the design. Uh, yeah, vest with this kind of electronic heart. Agent Nobody says, I will be honest with you, Compost Guru. Uh huh. We have no idea what this vest does. Uh, what? It's foreign tech, and our people haven't cracked it yet. Wait, what? It seems to have a one time battery charge, which means whatever it does, you'll only be able to use it once. We recommend against it, because we don't know what it does. I'll make sure it counts. <laughs> <laughs> that one time I use it. Further, you guys realize that with this awesome power, um, 
everything just seems a little bit heightened and more higher resolution. All rolls will now be made with two D8s because wow. we we are in a 16-bit environment. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shit, shouldn't have said all those jokes. No, it's great. It's great. But you are in front of a maze of lasers, and you must defeat this la laser maze, which we will represent with this laser maze. <laughs> oh! This is a game called Laser Maze. Oh, Wait, and we've what? got a legitimate laser maze. And uh, so this thing Just right here, this red thing, shoots out a laser, it. and you can use these various mirrors to bounce the laser around and do things. Does it really? It does. It's kind of hard to see, but we're going to work with it. Okay. Um, the red, the red square is the laser beam. Oh, cool. Um, the things that have little red dots on top, those are the targets. I will be giving you cards. Cards that show you what or what orientation, what org how to organize this. This is a child's game. You should be able <laughs> well, to figure this out. Already. I know. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna I organize those anything? things. No, you can move it all. You're gonna have to move it all. You're gonna have to organize these things in a pattern to uh, to follow these cards here. And if you can do the pattern, that means you've made it through the laser maze. Okay. 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 I'm sure we'll understand. You it as soon will as we have start. to. Um, <laughs> Can we the, fight our way through? There, uh, as you say that, two gigantic troll robots show up in, the, in the room. Troll they bots. Seem troll in, bots. They seem impervious to the lasers, and they are making their way towards you. Making their way. I will arrange you guys. <laughs> this is very well thought out. What? You have your own pogs. What? Uh, oh, everyone's got a pog. Um, representing where you are in the room. I'm going to randomly scatter you around unless you'd like to be anywhere. I, I Actually, everyone make an intelligence check. We'll do a group intelligence bit. check. 16-bit. 16 16 oh, shit. Uh, I rolled double eights. Amazing. Wow. Success. Whoa. Seven, five, Eight. 16 for me. 16. Amazing. 14. 14. These are huge. 11. So okay, not as good. 15. Man. Those are great. OK, as, as a group, you all seem to understand that it would be wisest strategically if a couple of you worked on the laser maze while the rest uh, fought off these troll robots. I leave it to you guys to decide who's, who's going to be doing what. I'll fight the trolls. Now listen here. Amy wants to fight the trolls. You might do both. I don't think Jinx would do it, but I don't know how the fuck to play this game, so. <laughs> Can I use my all-seeing eye to figure out how to play the game? Uh, you can. No, you can. no. I'm yes, not going to win. Absolutely you can. Wait. Absolutely you can. Okay. Um, how many times if do you, you get that? If you need to, it probably. Yeah, how many times do I get? Yeah, the how many times eye? can I play my top 100 song? These are all pretty much single-use items. Oh no! So use them wisely. Not well, doing this it. Things just sort of connected. Yeah, that what? just works always. Oh, that's nice. nice. In 1995. I think you and I got something in common. A Google search. A go right. <laughs> One at Google search. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> um, uh, why don't we go ahead and roll for initiative? E initiative. Okay. Is that two D8? That's two D6s. Six. I'll roll for the trolls. Six. So me and Reed. I'm sorry, do two D8s. Sorry. Two D8s. Uh, eight. Two D8s. Nine. And we have an initiative. All right. Uh, who is 16 and higher? Who is, who is 10 to 16? 10. 11. Also 11. Okay. Or at least. Uh, 12. I lied, 12. Okay. Wire goes first. Uh, compost goes second. Uh, what's your name? Riggle goes third. Uh, who's uh, five to 10? Six. Nine. Okay. Uh, Jinx goes fourth. Nice. And uh, Nerf goes fifth. And the bad guys are in there somewhere. Um, okay. Uh, all right, um, Wire Wizard, you are up first. Would you like to work on the laser maze, or would you like to uh, fend off these trolls? They are making, making their way towards you right now. I feel like being the buff and not wisest one of the group, I'm going to put my hands to better use fighting the trolls. OK, great. These nasty robots with sharp claws and dim yellow eyes, these are processor-generated troll bots that comb Johnson Corp and erase any invasive software or hardware. Um, uh, they are moving towards you right now. Uh, you Do I see any like panels on them that I can open up? 
panels that you can open up. They are robots, they do have panels, but they seem pretty pretty well made. Uh, there's panels on the front, there's panels on the side, there's panels all over the place. Um, are you looking for something specific? Uh, I want a panel either like on the back, something that accesses the mainframe of their system. Okay, cool. Um, I guess make a perception check or a hardware check since you're such a hardware ace. Sweet. Um, 14. With this power of 16 bits, you you get the sense that there is one panel right right around their heart that seems to be bigger than the rest. That's all you can kind of tell about it. All right. And it's and it's got a, a hex bolts that are that are uh, keeping it shut. Great. That's good because I've got my electrician's tools. Okay, so you're gonna I'm just go and pop pop onto I'm it. I'm gonna and... yeah. I'm gonna run up and like try to swing around and with my strong arm. Uh huh. Hold on to the neck while I jab in the electrician's tools oh, oh. and open up the panel. Make either a strength check or uh, or a hardware check, depending on how would you like to do do this. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, you get uh, here. Let me uh, roll for the creature. See if it can shake you off. It also rolled a twelve. Uh, you get around it and and jam your tool into it. It it makes purchase. You, you start to uh, twist and turn, and the screw does start to turn, but it doesn't pop open on this round. Right, 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 uh, right. right. Uh, uh, pretty good move. Well, I'm good. holding it. I'm just gonna lean forward and suck on my ring pop for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely helps. Uh, okay, it is now the troll's turn. The one who you are on is going to roll an attack against you. What's your defense? Twelve. It rolled a 13. Shit. No. It will hit you no. uh, with. Uh, 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 it makes a claw attack against you, and it's going to score. Yeah, where is it? I don't have. There it is. It's going to score three points of damage ah. against you. Jeez. Is that, okay, okay, I don't know how this game works. We don't have a lot uh, of HP. <laughs> the other teenagers. one. Uh, which one are We're you? Teens. You're blue. I'm blue. blue. So he's on you. Uh, this one's going after Greeny. That's you, uh, Leamy. Uh, he's gonna attack. Uh, you're but hard I to hit. Pattern baldness. He, <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a, uh, a 12 to hit. Suck it! Ooh. I've got digital Vaseline God, all over so me. So fast. <laughs> uh, he he whiffs by you. He uh, he he does. Uh, uh, no, that's good. Uh, that's his attack. Um, he will stay and hover around you because. Uh, he thinks that you're pretty badass. Uh, okay, next up is Compost Guru. Uh, I guess Would I'm you gonna... like to work on the laser maze or attack the trolls? I think I'm gonna work on the laser maze. Okay, then please roll a, boy, you are bad at computing. Yep. Roll, <laughs> roll a computing check. Okay. Oh, no. But hey, we're 16 bit, bit, baby. Uh, that's a seven minus two for a five. <laughs> okay, oh, no. unfortunately, that means that you get one of the harder cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now the red corners bounce, and the green Ooh, ones. How it's like hard a pass do I want to make this? Right? They just look so confident when they okay. fist bumped and said that do we not were going to deal with the trolls. Do not look at the back of this card. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, see this red thing here? That's where you put. That's where you put the laser. Okay. Yeah. The laser has to pass through all of these things in in whatever direction you'd like it to go through. You can also add three more purples anywhere you'd like. Got it. But like, here's the goal. The Can I move like this that? over here? You, yes, take okay. it take it closer to you. Okay. Uh, so this has to go so here. Yeah. This starts here. This has to go. It has to move through all of these things, and it has to hit a target. Just a single target, yellow but it has to move through yellow everything. Yellow the target? Yeah. No, yellow is what it ha that's, a, that's, that's like a pass-through bridge. It has to go through that thing. It goes what target? Way. Does so, it need to hit uh, one of wait. those two things? It, it's gonna have to point this way to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. It has to go through these things. It has to go through that. Do I put one here? You definitely can put that there, but it can swivel any way you'd like. Okay, and that's there, and then I have. And that can extra. also swivel any way you'd like. And okay. I, the greens are a pass through, right? Uh, the yellow is a pass through, and this goes right here to okay. start. Okay. The green. <laughs> and where's it have to go to? It has to hit. One of these. Okay. But it has to hit it on this side. Oh, okay, on the red. That's the target side. Okay. So and you to bounce it around there, I'll give you 30 seconds and then I'm going to move to the next person. And you can't just. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gripping television! I seriously <laughs> don't understand. This. I know, it's really hard to get. Okay. Here. Okay. And then this goes. I'm going to fight the troll. Okay. 
There. Nice. You did it! You did it? I did. Nice. Right. Is it hit, it's hitting a target. Is it yes. going through everything? Uh, it's it's hitting this one. Does it need to hit? This can go any way. Uh, did it yeah, go through that one? Yeah, it's hitting all of Passing the yeah, yellow you're, and you're laying This guy right is there. a genius. Hell yeah! yeah. 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 One third of the lasers go down, <laughs> uh, turn off. Uh, the room is much more open. You can move around much more freely. He uh, also gets password, by the way. He knew password. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'm more than just a guy with a car. Yeah. Jinx. Well, you don't have a car. Don't have a car Jinx, so you are up. Less. What would you like to do? There is a troll, and there is there are face. more lasers. Oh, I can't do the lasers. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the trolls. You're going for the trolls. Yeah. Right. Eat these freakers. Uh, Eat these. <laughs> you run up to these this. Crusties. This troll is closest to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they're pretty tall. What are they? Uh, they are tall situation? robots. They are eight, eight and a half feet I'm tall. I'm hanging on its back right the now. The same one. Yes. That okay. One. Sword. And Sword. and you're trying to get into his. I'm, I'm like a piggyback ride on him right now, and I'm trying to open up the front chest panel. Can I assist her? Uh, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, you can make a strength. What did I say? Strength? No. no hardware check hardware with check. advan with advantage. Advantage, honey. Advantage. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, with so hardware eleven, twelve. Twelve. I'm gonna roll against. Uh, you did better because you're helping. Uh, two screws? No, three screws are loose. You just need one more screw, nice, and you nice, will pop nice. open the panel. Okay. Great. Uh, anything else to do on your turn? Are you uh, good to move? Do I have a move? You can move more if you'd like. Um, no, I guess I'll okay. just I'll just stand here at the ready. Nerf gobbler, Nerf worm grim zero one zero one one. I'm gonna <laughs> Nerf worm's gonna uh, do lasers. 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 Yeah. All right, take that laser game. What do the greens do? What do the greens do? The greens. They're like pieces that'll be in the. Usable. The, the laser goes through through that, but also it splits into two. Oh, into two, in two directions? Cool. Uh, yes, oh, it will we'll split the laser out. into two directions. So it will okay. allow it to pass through, but it will also turn it's turn half of the laser around. the other okay. direction. Oh, boy. Okay, roll uh, a uh, a computing check to see if you can figure out uh, how how hard this laser maze is. I like is. how quickly your visor came off as soon as I can see. So I'm about to do a puzzle. Uh, nine, I got a nine. <laughs> a nine is not great. Nope. Uh, okay, one you're gonna three. get another hard one. Why? Sorry, sorry, do not look at the back of this car. Okay. So, you need to hit oh, three God. targets. Oh, jeez. This is the initial pattern. You can turn them any way you'd like. Okay. And you can add those three at the top. Red, two greens and one purple. I can add two greens and one purple, and then these three are what? They have to Those be have to go there, but they don't but have to be in purples. that orientation. They're all purples. These lasers yeah. are hard, guys. So it's yeah. two greens and a purple. Get these out of here so they don't. And then you but you have to have something there. here. And you have to oh, add. You have to add those two greens blue. and a purple. Okay. Okay. But what? What is it? What is it? I don't know what it does. The that just shoots the laser, and it has to be pointing the way no, that it I says. Know, I know a laser comes out of it, I just don't know. So what. if you, so look, if you hit the laser. That part I know, no, no, I know, no, I know the no, corners. But, <laughs> no, I'm saying if you hit the we laser. We need someone who composes Adderall. See, and it goes from pink, and yes. it lights the well, We just don't know so what we're going to get. Have to, no. like, it's, it's mostly a yeah. <laughs> If if you don't want to do this, there are other options out there too. You have special powers. You have the target. The target is, uh, there is no target. Uh, it says you have to hit three targets. I have to hit, so I have to. You have to bounce, bounce it all around so things. that it hits three of these things. Okay. At the same time. Yes. Three. I feel like this one is harder than It is. That one. To hit these reds? To hit the reds? By the side. way, guys, you're a team. Help each oh, other out. We can help it? Yes! Okay. <laughs> So, and I can put, okay, so I could do a purple there. Me too, I'm just thinking. But I will stop you after 10 more seconds, and that will be your turn for this one. I can't tell what's going on. One, two, three. So this goes this way. Nope. I'm just gonna polish my hand. Okay, that's it for your turn. We're gonna keep going. You can keep thinking about it, but we're gonna move on to uh, wire wizard. You can either help him with the uh, spend your turn helping him with the with that, or you can attack this troll. No way! I'm gonna think, use my my proficiency. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's Wait. Okay. Getting, oh, how did that happen? Sorry, Riggle. Flipped. Sorry, oh, Riggle. Yeah, Go you ahead. You take your turn, please. Well, as I see, uh, uh, Nerf World Jim. That's it, right? Nerf Worm. Nerf Worm <laughs> Jim, uh, uh, trying to figure this out. I will. I will put my goggles on and I will say. You stay away from my boy. Oh. And I'm running 
uh, uh, fist first, and I'm gonna try and grab. <laughs> these are ridiculous. I'm gonna try and grab <laughs> the panel. I'm gonna try You're and gonna grab rip the, the panel. panel off. And just rip yes. the panel off. With, with that me. thing, I think you get a huge bonus to strength. But roll for it anyway. Okay, so it's it's two d8, right? Mm -hmm. uh, seven, eight. Plus your strength, yeah. plus the bonus of the of the gloves. So it's eight, nine, and I don't know what the bonus. Oh, the, the bonus for the gloves is another four. Two. So thirteen. Yeah. Okay. So yes, the third screw easily rips off with the power of the glove, not the power glove, the just the cybernetic the arm. Power of the, glove. <laughs> <laughs> um, the panel rips open, and you can see a glowing um, uh, a glowing microchip in the middle of it. Uh, it seems to be a power supply or a control unit of some sort. Um, that's your action. You can call this out to your friends. You can try to use a bonus action if you wanted to what about throw bonus something action, on it. Action, interact with object. Can sure, you let go for it. Jack in. You're jacking in. I'm gonna try Finally a jack. Okay, he's jacking yeah. up, okay. off, whatever. Jack it. You're jacking in. Oh, let, I'm yes. gonna try and, and hijack your cyber your cybernetic glove. Instantly jacks in, mm. and you can feel sort of what what the troll is feeling. You can see through its eyes. You oh, can man. hear what it's hearing, which oh, is man. nothing. It doesn't have ears. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you can thinking? but you can control it a little bit. Not on this turn, but you feel like on the next turn you will be able to control it now. Awesome. Um, next up, now that we skipped back, is Wire Wizard. Ah, uh, so wait, we can control the troll? Uh, he can. Okay. I'm jacked in. You're jacked into that troll, then I'm gonna jump off this one and run over to the other one and try to do the same shit. Okay, uh, you can control it, but it does have its own control as well. And so it's gonna take a swipe as you at you as you go. Uh, okay. It rolled a eight to hit. What's your defense? Fuck this troll. Oh, yeah. nothing? Yeah. It takes a swipe at you, but it swings too high. You duck down, uh, and you scramble over, over to the other troll. I'm going to slide through the other troll's legs oh. and hop up and try to... Dick punch, punch. it? Yes. <laughs> cool. Right, so go ahead and take a roll. How do I get... Am I, wait, yeah, I'm going to use my brass knuckles and punch it. Oh, nice. Go ahead and roll for a hit. Uh... 13. Yeah, that hits. Yes. Great, great, great. Uh, roll, roll for damage? What does it say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that's <laughs> terrible. Uh, two bludgeoning okay. damage. Okay. Uh, yes, your brass knuckles go oh, clang. Wait, it, wait. No, a seven or an eight or a 15 or 16. Clang against yeah. its groin area. It doesn't seem to be hurt because it's a robot, uh, but it definitely makes a big old dent. Now that's a concave area of its body. Okay. Um, all right, it's their turn. Uh, he's going to go ahead and attack you right away. I wanted to jump up and jab Rolling my a in, but 11 to hit. Knuckles. I don't think that hits you. No! Oh, it misses. Duck. Um The other troll is going to attack. Uh, Come on, loser! I deal with angry customers all day. All this ain't it. nothing. Um, it rolls very badly. An eleven. Does it hit you? It does hit you. Okay, it's going to strike you with. Riggle. No, Riggle. Three Riggle. points of damage. Not looking good. How many points of damage? One left. Ooh. Oh, we need some healing up in here. <laughs> uh, we need wriggle me this is is bloody and bludgeoned. Uh, the the huge. But still jacked in. Still. You're still, still jacked. Okay, cool. Yeah. You, let's say let's say that uh, you are still jacked. <laughs> um, compost guru, what would you like to do? Uh, I see wriggle on the ground, but I know I have adrenaline. So if he goes down, I could bring him back up. Uh, I want to assist uh, Nerform Grim uh, yeah. one zero zero one zero one one in, uh, <laughs> in finishing in completing our second set of lasers. Go yeah. for it! You got this, man. Okay. Do I? You have uh, one. Uh, I'll give you thirty seconds. This is an extra. Make a move. And there's a green and a purple that can go on here still. I don't have no idea if I put anything in the right place. Uh -huh. Where's we it go right now? got one going through that's hitting a target here. Okay. And it's splitting and going to here. Okay. Uh, which has to be on the it's board. It's hitting that one there. It's hitting this one, and I've got it going to here. I don't know if that takes it any further, though. I can't see it hitting. Yeah, I can't see, even see where the light is. It does get a little hitting. dim, for sure. Uh, if you need... If you need a spicier laser, you can you can use this if you oh. needed to, but oh, I don't think we can get that down. No, flush. I don't think so either. That's definitely hitting a target. 
Oh, sorry. It is not right. hitting. It is hitting this. And it, it's hitting this corner one, too, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can see it. Yeah, it goes through here. So it's hitting, but we're only hitting one target right now. You need oh. to, it hit to hit the red three. side, right? It also needs to hit the red side. Well, that's. I'm going to do this, and we do this. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't that, know. Feels, that feels great. That's not. That's hitting. your time oh, for this round. Uh, because you failed two rounds, you see a door open on the other side. Uh, more more bad guys may be incoming soon, oh, unless you can crack this thing. Uh, yeah, next lovely. up is, that was compost. Wriggle me this. Uh, okay, so I, I'm really, I'm badly hurt, but I'm still jacked in here. And what I'm going to try and do is, um, I'm going to try and speak its language. Oh, uh, and okay. A I'm going to try and reprogram language. it. Okay, great. To attack its kin. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, either a knowledge or a uh, decipher code check, whatever you'd like. One. Decipher code. Decipher, decipher code. code. Right. You're the, you're a master of numbers. I am. It's this one. Bounces, bounces, and then that's a seven and a four plus seven, oh. so that's oh, ten, eleven, gigantic. Eighteen. You guys all watch all of a sudden as Wriggle Me This starts speaking, but not in English or any known language. He's speaking in binary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's zero one one zero 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 one 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 zero one one. And the ro the robot seems to understand this in intensely quick uh, programming language. What would you like to tell the the robot to do? I will in in numeric language. I will say, attack your own, protect us at all costs. Uh, it nods slowly and it turns to its kin, uh, and it seems to be ill-tempered toward it. <laughs> Jinx, you're up. What do you want to do? Okay, so where am I in relation to the mainframe, and what are the lasers? Looking the mainframe like. is over here. Okay. Um, and I'm there's there. lasers protecting this whole area, though, okay. that you'd have to cross over. You and could try to go through the lasers like Catherine Zeta Jones if you'd like. But then what happens if they go off? Security Bad comes things. in. Okay. Um, Bad now, things. now, can I? Would this use up my action to check my email to see if Janice did us a solid? It certainly would ch take your action to do, but you're more than welcome to. No. The problem is, who needs assistance here? I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm about to die. You're about to die, but I don't think I have anything to help you. It's an issue. Um, you can, uh, <gasps> Mr. Lou, you you don't just have those those. Uh, I have pills and adrenaline shots. I think you also <laughs> have some aspirin and gauze in your pack. Oh, do I? Yeah, which which are can be health health related. Great. Um, I mean, would aspirin even help him at this point? Uh, I, mean, I do have a headache because I crashed the he's car. Pretty, he's pretty hurt. Um, <laughs> Dude, I did crash the car. I guess, I guess uh, Compost Guru has that, but wait, you're red, you're purple, you're close. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, uh, pass me this. So you could go, you could use your movement to go pick something up and go over there. Okay, if like. I think I'd, I'd like to do that. All right, what are you going to pick you're up? Doing something aspirin, great. gauze, something else? I'll throw some gauze your way. Extra tight, even though it'll hurt a little bit, but okay, it's supposed but just to. The gauze? <laughs> He's bleeding heavily. Okay, okay, give me gauze. Give me. Well, aspirin will make the bleeding worse, but it's okay. Give me the fucking. Yeah, gauze. You want to thin the blood out? <laughs> All right, give it the give it. All so right. I, I take the gauze. I go over there and I and I and I bandage him up real good. And um, can you roll a medicine check just to see how good a yes. job of, of bandaging you do? Okay. Where's medicine? Okay. Um, that is that's good. Eleven plus a twelve. That's great. Um, you can roll a, a D four, and that'll be the the healing on the oh, D four yeah. plus one will be the healing. Four plus one is Ooh, five. Five Ooh, five points of beep, healing. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, the gauze is, it just seems to be perfectly placed right over the deepest of gashes. The bleeding stops immediately. You feel better already. Um, great job. Your Thank hands you. are a little bloody. That's okay. Um, but you know. I have a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Nerf Worm, you're up. What would you like to do? I would like to say that we have solved the puzzle. Uh, okay, yeah. let's see. It's hitting multiple. It's One, hitting three two, targets. Two, and three. Three, three targets One, being two, hit. Three. I'm going to say yes. Another third of the lasers go off, and you are almost to the mainframe. Right. There is Whoa. one more laser check to do. Uh, it is now Wire Wizard's turn. I'm going to take my tools and jab them into the front and open up the panel. It's already open and he's already being controlled. Are you talking no, about the other guy? No, I'm I've ran under the other oh, guy. Oh, great. Okay, go for a strength check then. Or, or a hardware check. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm feeling this. Is this mine? Too. Where's my thing? I don't know. I can't Where's see. It's my sheet. <laughs> what did I roll? Or is it? Did I roll those two or these two? You rolled these two. Yep. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. Amazing. The panel pops open. You see a glowing microchip inside of it, a power source of some sort. You ja you j you just jam it I with jam your hand? No, with my with my hardware tools. Okay. I know this shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you do. Uh, roll now just to strength if you're just trying to break it, right? Yeah. Okay, roll strength, see if you can just break it. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, it rolled really well. Uh, not that it needs to roll. Let's say uh, it, it takes a big jolt and it's it's looking rough, but it is still hanging on by a thread. All right. Um, uh, it's, That's true because I, I kind of did two things. Yeah, anyway, it's fine. So it does. It's okay. Uh, no, you you jam your screwdriver into it and it and it starts to spark, but it doesn't seem seem to have taken uh, total damage yet. But soon, uh, it is its turn right now, and it's going to attack. Boy, you're pretty tough. It's going to attack you, and it's going to do its one-time use only <gasps> multi-attack. No. Uh, rolling once with an 11. Nope. Nice. Nice. Anyway. And again, even worse, a six. Wow. It misses again. Can't be beat. She's glitching out. Um, it's rolling so badly. Uh, it swings at you, it swings at you, but you're right on its chest. It can't seem to find a good angle to hit you. I just start dancing with it. Um, <laughs> compost <laughs> guru, you are up. What would you like to do? There's one more laser maze to solve. What are you at? I'm good. I'm good. I'm at six, and I was. He's I started at seven. <laughs> What's up? My new thing is that I'm good with computers, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna we'll do the last one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roll to see how difficult this is. Come on, man. Okay, that's a nine minus two for a oh, seven. Jesus. This is a hard one. Why am I? This was a red herring. This wasn't used at all. That's why I was trying to make every single thing work. Okay. All right, I'm here's so your card. You, okay. you have to hit two targets and you use all of those My extra things. Oh, jeez. Okay. I will give you uh, Wait, what's a minute to start. So I need these. I need him. Oh. And this guy goes. This is gripping. This goes down here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this thing? Oh, this one has to be like this? Yes. And then this one, or excuse me, this one has to be like this. Out and this one can flip. Okay. 20 seconds. And then you see both these targets? Okay. And you can add all of these, three purples and one green. Like that, right? Oh my god, he's so good at this. I'm just giving Thank him a cyber you. massage. I You're giving him a cyber massage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll you get an extra 10 you seconds can because of that. Oh, massage. cool. If this ends in just like a giant oh. hacker orgy. <laughs> oh, if you guys all have sex with each other, the, the lasers turn off. Like, oh. <laughs> I've seen Lawnmower Man. I know how it ends. Time is ticking. You oh. have 15 seconds left. I don't get hit. Oh, okay. You have 10 seconds. Oh. Scout massage. Scout massage. Okay, so I that one purple has five seconds. I know. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's one more. Hands down, I'm sorry. Another troll has entered. Oh, wow. No! <laughs> um, that's an ugly one! one. Uh, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, uh, wriggle me this, you're up. Did he attack his friend? Uh, oh, no, you're right. It's their turn, and he is definitely going to attack his friend, because you commanded oh, him to. Oh, that's great, and the other one's super weak already. Uh, he rolls, now he rolls great. He rolls a 12, which is, beats his defense, and he gives. I'm seeing Oracle put uh, the puzzle card over Four on points the side. of damage. Puzzle with puzzle the damage that uh, that Wire Wizard gave, uh, yes, with with a claw strike, this firewall bot knocks the head off of the other firewall bot, bot knocking him down. He is out of commission. Yes. One down. Woo woo! Uh, now wriggle me this, you're up. And you're still controlling that guy. Yeah, um, and I'm relatively close to him, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you should be right on him. How, how, this is you, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, how far mm -hmm. away is the tr is the other troll from uh, You can move towards it, but you wouldn't be able to get there in one in one turn. Light up this, uh, With my st strength, could I toss mm. this ro robot at the other robots? Oh, that's a huge strength check, but you can try. Uh, 
I'm just I got a big boost to my strength. Throw his head. It's two. Excellent. I, I scoop up his head. Uh huh. And I do 95. I do my best. Uh, uh, I don't know who was throwing hard. Roger Clemens sure. impression, impression, and beam it at. All right, troll there. Uh, just roll an attack. Roll a two d six attack. You have to take off your cybernetic arm to roll. <laughs> That's uh, a five and a three is an eight plus. Uh, do I get the increase on my strength? Uh, yeah, you add your strength bonus, which was plus four from the from the glove, I think. Right. So plus so uh, five, three, eight, nine, four, thirteen again. Okay, you needed eleven. You got it. Uh, you, so you're throwing the dead troll's head the at the living troll. That's yes. amazing. Okay, okay. The, the head aiming, uh, aiming for its. Well, I'm, it's robot. It's toothy maw. It's, it's toothy, toothy maw. Yeah. The, the, the head flings across, uh, just clearing the lasers, not hitting them, and smashes this other troll in the face, causing five points of damage. Nice. Very nice. He's, and he's up, but he's dazed. I'll use like the rest of uh, whatever I have left to sort of turn to it with my arm and, and give it a finger and goad it. Come to Ooh, me. Ooh, nice. Come to me. <laughs> it's pissed off. Um, <laughs> it's such a cool contraption. <laughs> it is. Jinx, what do you want to do? You got one more laser maze to solve, or you can Go trolling, or you can do uh, something else. I'm gonna stick to trolling what I'm good at. So I'm over here, mm -hmm. sort of in between um, rig Riggle, me this, yes. and the new troll. Yes. Now, can I get to the new troll, or no? You can, uh, you can get close, but uh, you want, don't want to go past this, because that's where there be lasers. Yeah, there will be lasers. But you can wait um, till it comes to you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until it comes to me, or I can try throwing my handy dandy Shuriken? Her no, no, no Tunfa. Go for it. Yeah, why not? Fuck it, we're here. Um, what's the, what do I do? You just roll 2d8 uh, and uh, add your dexterity. Are you sure? Melee in the middle of the right side of the page. Or melee. Right? <laughs> um, so that, no, I have, oh, okay, yeah. I will, I will add no melee because it's zero. Okay. So that is <laughs> eight, nine, ten. It's, you need an 11. Oh, for oh. fuck's sake. The Tonfa clangs off of the back wall, uh, ineffective, I'm so sorry. Nerf, oh. Goblin, Worm, Grim, whatever your name is. That's me, Dank. Uh, <laughs> I run over to uh, Unseen Oracle and I start helping him weave the lasers and we've already moved stuff around and figured it out. <laughs> All three of us this side of the That's table. great, that's, that's Thank teamwork. Thank God for this side yeah, of the table. <laughs> Uh, you press the laser, it, wor it works? Okay, yes, with your awesome computing power, you are able to use the mirrors in your field pack to jettison and redirect the lasers all around, making a clear path for yes. you to get all the way through. You do not need to worry about the lasers anymore. They are useless. Um, that's it for your turn. We're still in combat with this a-hole. There's a entrance to the right here is a bank uh, this is the this is the mainframe you need to jack into this over okay, here okay i'm going to i'm going to use my movement to sure. start running towards it okay nerf um, you are this guy yeah tick 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 get about there um, great uh, next up is wire wizard all right um i'm going to i mean we got to take care of this troll I'm gonna run towards the troll. Okay. And try to hold digga, digga. him up while everybody jacks into the system. Sure, sure. Uh, what are you gonna use to hold it up with? Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take off my headphones. Uh huh. And I'm gonna hit the button. Yeah. And I'm just gonna start playing the music. <laughs> what? And turn it into a dance party. What's what to song are you going to play? My top 100. Uh, yeah, it could be any of song 1995. from 1995. There's Gangsta's Paradise. Yes. <laughs> Gangsta's Paradise? By Coolio, R.I.P. Gangsta, yes. Uh, roll with, with Coolie Vantage. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Is that four? <laughs> yes. Okay. Ooh, Cliff, thank God. Um, and what am I adding to it? Uh, let's say your uh, Persuasion? You're trying to make him rock to the beat, I guess? Oh god, 10. Even my mama Ten? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I will try to resist it. Um, yeah, he rolled an 11. Oh, so wait, 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 wait! But I add two because I'm playing with music. You definitely nice. do. So it's 12, uh, so I yes. beat him. He <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> he gets lost in the music. The music seems to uh, energize him at a particular rhythm that shakes uh, his very joints and uh, the metallic connections of his body, and he starts rocking out. 
to this classic jam that's based on another classic jam. Uh, Julio, we miss you. Michelle Pfeiffer shows up uh, in his leather jacket. Uh, yes, uh, he's been spending most of his life uh, in a in a mainframe paradise, and now he's. <laughs> Uh, he seems to be confused and distracted by the music, and he, he doesn't, it is his turn, and on his turn, he will just rock out to the music. Sweet. Uh, he's not gonna move any closer, he's not gonna take his turn. Compost Guru, you're up! Uh, I'm gonna run in uh, and uh, follow Nerfworm Grim and uh, go jack in uh, right before, uh, pop some drugs though. Uh, just to see. Yeah, okay. just to see. This is a magic. This is just popping a pill. It's uh, one d eight uh, five, which is one d eight temp hit points. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Uh, which is five hit points. Nice. So you took. What kind of medicine was this? Do you imagine? Uh, oh, I imagine this is some kind of upper. You know, it's like a caffeine pill oh, of some for sort. Sure. This is like okay. a straight up trucker caffeine pill. <laughs> I <guess>. This is <laughs> the stuff. Fen? Exactly. <laughs> Great, a awesome. Uh, that's a good move. Um, okay, uh, wriggle me this. You're up. Wait, uh, yeah, that's you. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm still, I still in control. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm still controlling this guy, right? Uh, yes, you are. I, I will, I will uh, just command him in in zero one zero zero one zero 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 one to to go and attack his speaking friend. In, in an amazingly fast uh, binary language he's gonna run over using his full movement to get to this guy uh, and he will attack he rolls pretty well uh, he strikes with Another five points of damage. Ooh, this guy's looking super rough. Yes. Uh, um, that was a great hit. Uh, Jinx, what you got? Um, I am going to use my third eye blind okay. to find out what it is that we need to do in this mainframe to shut it down. Okay. <laughs> and that's my uh, one answer I need. You, you use your third eye, uh, activating the power of this incredible contraption on your head, and all of a sudden it's like you are in the archives of the World Wide Web. You know things that you didn't know. You see things that you didn't see. It's an amazing otherworldly experience. And amid all of the files and folders and uh, apps that you see before you, one of them is your own email system. And bing, you've just gotten mail. Uh, it is a, it is a keylogger program that you had entered earlier, uh, and Janice had at some point logged in, and at this point, all you got from the keystrokes was one word: swordfish. Uh, Damn. Janet, wait, you don't know? Could be the password. No, yeah, it is. Oh. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just Janice, like j looking up what to make for tomorrow's dinner. Good uh, <laughs> okay, uh, 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 great. Uh, great. I love that. And so, can I use my movement to get to the yes, mainframe? Yes, you will get to the mainframe on the next round. Many of you will be jacking. Yes. In Nerf Herder, you're up. <laughs> Uh, they're already there at the door. Uh, there's a bank of uh, machines right here, so you can also run up yep. and be with them. Yeah, I Are will. you going to jack in? Uh, I absolutely jack How in. How do you jack in? I actually don't run up. I hold up my power glove uh -huh. and use the telekinetic uh, ability within it, and it just pulls me towards, oh. and the fingers go <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you do start jacking in, and as your glove touches the, co uh, the console, <laughs> Um, weirdly, as it gets pulled towards the mainframe, uh, the mainframe also gets pulled towards you. Mm. Wires shoot out and start twisting around into your glove and injecting themselves into your glove. It's like you are becoming one with the mainframe as you jack in. Uh, that completes your turn. Hold on to your big bucket, script kitties! Ooh, that's a good one, you get a bonus. Uh, Wire Wizard, what's up? What are you doing? I'm gonna help out Wrigley, and I'm gonna I'm gonna run over and I'm gonna grab the last troll by the head and try to yank it sideways. Oh, great, uh, you're breaking its neck. Yeah. Awesome, roll for an attack. Gotta beat an 11. Yeah, that definitely beats awesome. I rolled 11 plus 4, so 15. Uh, he only has one hit point left, so yes. How do you want to uh, unscrew this? Yeah! <laughs> I go to try to break his neck, but it just kind of turns, so yeah, I just keep turning it to unscrew the... <laughs> okay, it takes a while because first you unscrew it the wrong way, and then you go back the other way. Lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> And eventually, yes, the head spins all the way off, 
and falls to the ground, completely useless, but his body is still dancing to nice. Coolio. Um, <laughs> that's right. He's dead. This one is under your control, so you don't have to worry about him. Um, the lasers are essentially off. You guys can all make your way to the to the uh, to the console and jack in. I'll just ask the rest of you who haven't jacked in yet. How do you jack in? What what is what motion? What words? What how do you how do you jack into the mainframe? Well, we've got I've, we've got a password. Um, I also think another and I'm just talking spitballing with the team here. Another thing we could do is fuzz, which is. When hackers input lots of random data or it fuzzed in an attempt to make a system crash, used by hackers to look for vulnerabilities in code. I'm not saying we're doing it, I'm just saying throwing it out there. Okay. We don't have to do it. That could be last, last, uh, you know. It's we gotta do table. that once we're in the system. It's on the yeah. table. We gotta jack off in it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, oh, I'm I gotta gonna, load. I'm ready to go. Jack off uh, into Lucas's system here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna run up next to him and seeing that the mainframe has sort of extended itself, <laughs> I'm going to just ram mine into his bit. Great. And uh, let the wire sort of. As oh, do I see what you're saying. We yeah. literally physically have to. The, f wow. the, the wires now start enveloping your oh, cybernetic arm and am, creeping and crawling up your arm. <laughs> you are now jacking in. Right. Uh, would the rest of you like to jack in, or I mean, are you gonna watch this happen? I mean, I'm gonna watch it, and then I'm gonna jack in. How? I'm gonna. What part of your body? What 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 are you doing to? Ooh. Um. Well, I've yanked off the sleeve of part of my sure. Power Ranger outfit, so um, I'm gonna pull out some of my radio shed wires. Yeah. And fucking jam them into my arm. Oh! Straight into my bloodstream veins, and I'm gonna. Amazing! Oh, the, really? the wire it goes into sense. your into your artery and then uh, connects with the with the mainframe console. You had just the right kind of uh, connector wire, but yes, as as you as you do, you can see that your blood starts to flow into it, and somehow there's another fluid that starts to creep back through through the wire into your own arm. Yeah. Your arm starts to turn a, a different shade into grays and greens and starts becoming part of the mainframe. You are now jacked. <laughs> uh, anyone else need to jack in, you guys? Uh, I'm gonna reach uh, and kind of look for a knob that I'm gonna turn just like a key uh -huh. and just kind of give it some juice, give it some juice. I don't want to flood it, I don't want to flood it. Yes. But I want to, <laughs> we're, we're gonna get the motor cranked up. Sure, sure. There, there is you know, quickly you discover there are lots of uh, knobs and, and there's one that looks like it can spin around and around yeah. and you you try it you feel a few clicks it feels like it's too too rough yeah. so you back off a little bit and then all of a sudden <laughs> 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 This is the sound computers you make, right? With the with the purr of a of a hot new 1983 Toyota Tercel, uh, it sputters to life, uh, and um, and the thing that you that you touched, uh, uh, the the switch that you touched, sort of shoots out little diodes that insert under your fingernails Ew. and combine with your fingers, sort of drawing you closer. Uh, you you again, your hand sort of goes into the machine. You become one with it. The only person left out right now is Jinx. All right, I take my laptop out, my own personal laptop, uh -huh. and I balance it on my knee that was once a fucked up knee, but now it's better. Yes. And I take um, <laughs> one of the wires, I just grab one of the wires and plug it into my laptop. Uh, amazing. And yeah. then now I can control, now I can do my little thing. I'm the queen of the dark web. Yes, you Here do. You're looking at your laptop screen and uh, it springs to life with uh, with energy and lights and, and uh, all kinds of matrix like um, uh, 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 Im images and text um, and all kinds of, uh, of craziness. And as it does, um, your eyes start to bug out and sort of be hypnotized by the power of the brightness oh. of your laptop. And weirdly, uh, wires shoot out of your laptop and jam <laughs> into your eyes. <laughs> um, visual sensors strap to your irises and uh, it's very painful and invasive, but now you can see everything uh, through your laptop into the mainframe, right. and you guys all realize at once that you are now in the internet somehow. Mm -hmm. 
you are in a glowing, pulsing, liminal space. Green HTML code streams by in an endless string of programming languages. Shapes appear in the code, personal home pages, rapid fire bitmap images, chat rooms, high quality MP2 audio. We're surfing, you guys. <laughs> you are inside the internet. Somehow your bodies have bonded with the mainframe. They shimmer with a strange translucence, <laughs> <laughs> like microchips, wires, um, and uh, uh, you you realize that you are in the World Wide Web. Um, is there anything you'd like to do to get acquainted with your with your surroundings? Uh, you feel like in this digital space, you don't necessarily have to walk or move. You can just kind of imagine where you will go, and you will be there. Mm. Hmm. Nice. I'm gonna imagine I have a surfboard and a surfboard appears beneath you. It is a short board. It has uh, uh, awesome stickers all over it, and it's just been freshly waxed, and it's made out of code. <laughs> Would you like to surf? Fuck yeah. All right, yes. You take a, you ride a wave of ASCII text, and you, and you <laughs> rip the curl. Uh, I'm gonna imagine I have a magic carpet. That's it. <laughs> I have it. Yep, uh, a totally cool uh, rug appears beneath you. It uh, looks a little worn, um, but it's it, it, it seems to keep you aloft, and you can move about as you see fit. This place is amazing. <laughs> um, uh, I see. I see wire wizard pulling ahead, and I, I look down at my arm, and I I grab out into the air and grab code, uh, and and tug on it like a rope and then realize that I can swing on this son of a bitch. Oh, yes. So I just swing towards her, yes. uh, using it like a man. Just like a, yeah. a jungle vine. You, yes. You're using lines of code as uh, as vines to swing around uh, and move with, without without fail, without uh, without hindrance at all. Nerfworm suddenly morphs into full 32-bit video game character <laughs> model. Uh, 32 looking bit. 32, 32 bit. What? No Impossible. limits here. Impossible. <laughs> and little digital uh, flowers and moons appear all around me. I say, Jinx, it's everything we've ever dreamed of. <laughs> oh, good happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, supportive. I feel like Jinx, all she wants in the world is a place to call her own. And so she imagines like an apartment that's just hers. Maybe she'll have nerf over for dinner one night, I don't know. But like, just knows what it's like to just have her own place. And in the center of the apartment on the lovely couch that you sort of make with your mind, there's a very beautiful purring and healthy cat. Uh, oh wait, that's you. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you. You stole my fucking oh, cat? Sorry. Yes, yes. Um, How about a dog? No, yeah, you, you got a little dog, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's a cute little apartment. It looks just weirdly like the, the apartment from the TV show Friends which is currently on the air. Perfect. Um, it's, it's really large for a New York apartment yeah. for some reason. I mean, totally rent control. That is the dream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Jillian Anderson as Agent Scully walks in and says, I'm home. And that's Absolutely. the end of my dream. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, as you guys are in just, just enjoying the internet, um, uh, there's a stirring in the distance. Amid the sea of, of terminal hash codes and server PPN feeds is a shining white door. As you approach it, you recognize it as the mother node of this mainframe. This is where all the rootkits of every piece of proprietary Johnson Corp software is stored. The baseline for the entire company. Past this door could be the, the source code for ruination and the way to kill it for good. But first, you must enter a password to get in. <gasps> swordfish. It's always swordfish. It's gotta be swordfish. Yeah, swordfish. Do it. Do it. You're going to enter the password, swordfish. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> the password's always swordfish, guys. That's how it works. Thanks, Janice. Um, Janice came through. The, uh, the, the password opens the door uh, very easily, easily, and you are now in a new space. Um, where is it? Boop, boop. Um, it's a simple room with wooden floors, a couch, a water cooler, some posters are on the wall. Johnny Mnemonic, uh, the <laughs> net, uh, a poster for Waterworld, a jar of peanuts, uh, a pipe. It's as if someone lives here, but there is no ceiling, only the flying toasters of the popular screensaver oh uh, dance above you. Oh it's a very cozy God. space. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> But then, from amid the toasters, you see him. 
in a white coat, <gasps> a severe collar, incredible pair of sunglasses, and absolutely the handsomest man you've ever seen. But wait, this is not the first time you've seen him. It looks like someone else you've seen a lot of tonight. Oh, uh, Agent. Uh, the, the, the video screen flickers to life, and you are now face to face <gasps> with Ruination himself. <gasps> it's the guy. Welcome to the Mother Node. Oh, God. It is me, Agent Goldstein, or should I say, Rumination. Rumination. Yeah, sure. It's working on it. My real name is Dwan Johnson. No relation, of course. Owner of Johnson Corp, uncle to Ashley Johnson, a queen who walks amongst us. <laughs> the best that ever shall be. I am the single greatest virus ever to be programmed. Goldstein never existed, and now I don't either. I've erased my human body from existence and have uploaded my consciousness onto this hard drive. So now I can rule the internet at blazing 56k BPS speeds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing! As he as he finishes this speech, oh. you are uh, just in awe of the power. Every time he moves his uh, his hand, the code the code around him seems to shift. The reality that you are in seems to move and bend at it with his will. Look at him go. <laughs> He's really wow. dancing it up. Do we have to kill him? Uh, it's kind of so great. Uh, I, that is up to you. He's really he's really working it, guys. I'm, I'm saying Maybe we can try the fuzzing. Contain it. Ruination. Oh yeah. Ruination. You can never contain me. <gasps> what is that? It is not a recorded message. I am here with you. Oh. Oh, this what? is too what much. Is this is too oh, much. No. Oh. You, you may you may speak to ruination. Oh, I'm gonna black out it. Um. Ruination. Why did you choose us? I mean, you could have picked anyone. I'm just a guy with a car. You had a car. I had a car. I have been seeking. An opponent worthy of my skills. I have been seeking the best of the best. Unfortunately, it brought me you. <laughs> you have let me down at every turn. Every single turn. You are an embarrassment. And now it is time for me to destroy you and be on my way. No. no yes. I'm shell shocked. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. I'm gonna. From Nitz, the system. Oh, 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 oh you are? <laughs> let's try, um, let's try a. <laughs> there is no try, there is only do. Do. <laughs> um, While they're distracting him, yes. I'm going to make my way as, as sneakily as I can to that giant water cooler. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. And I'm going to, I'm going to start to try and lift the water cooler. Lift the whole thing? Well, just the water, watery bit. All right, you lift the watery bit, sure. Uh, what would you like to do with it? Uh, I, I am going to either dump it on him or throw it on him. Uh, go ahead. And As he starts to do that, I wave my hand, <laughs> and the water bit starts to fly up in his face, and I whisk it into the abyss. The, wa the water cooler turns into a series of ones and zeros that sort of just dissipate into the ether around you. Can I, can I still grab onto the You the can cooler? try, but this is his realm, and he decides what goes. His power, his computational power is much stronger than any of your individual powers. But maybe there's a way. Uh, go, go, to, go through your resources. Uh, think, uh, use your powers, use your uh, weapons. What, what, what do you have? What do you do? I'm going to turn on my... Walkman. Okay. To play. What song? Uh, don't go chasing waterfalls. That's a bop. That's a bop. That's uh, a bop. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll an intelligence check, but you get E vantage on it. Oh, great. In this room, is there a disk drive anywhere? There's nothing computer in this room. Okay. Well, I do on my laptop. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's the what stuff that you brought with you. Intelligence check? For, yeah, it's just an intelligence check. Uh, okay. That is 13 plus 2 uh, is 15. 
15's pretty good. Uh, you do notice that the code that he seems to be made out of uh, is an integrated log, log synapse uh, code. It's not code that is unfamiliar to you, but you do know that sometimes the, these codes are built with fail-safe mechanisms somewhere in the code. You just have to find it. Okay. Um, anyone else want to try okay, anything? I mean, can I use my third eye? Go for it. Okay, I'd use like to use thir- my third eye to find this code Sure. Situation. You've used your third eye once, so this is going to be a very hard roll. Go okay, ahead and roll, try. and this is uh, just an intelligence check. Here we go. Don't go, through Jason. Nation. Okay, that's nine plus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said intim- What did you say? Intelligence. Oh, oh, 15. 15's pretty damn good. Um, you get the <laughs> sense that there is a self destruct uh, line of code buried deep within Ruination. Okay. Um, but the only way to get to it is if you guys somehow work together, uh, somehow f- form a, a cohesive unit to, to, to sort of uh, get, get to him. Um, I, I don't know quite how, but maybe, maybe there's a way to combine your powers. I jam my, my fist into the ground sure. and plug in, and I look at everyone and say, plug into me. Wait. I actually, uh, I, I kneel down next to him and I jam my shoulder into his shoulder so that they merge. And now we've got a two person wide being with a hand on each side. I, uh, yeah. I, uh, I climb on top of their shoulders and balance my hands on their heads. So now we've got like two bottom <laughs> things and now a, a middle part. You're the, you're the torso? I'm the torso. You're the best. The you're the best. <laughs> I have a headset. Okay, so I'm great. Ears, so then I guess I'll climb eyes. up over, over compost. Wait, whose legs? Who's your legs? legs. Your <laughs> legs. Your legs and arms. And I'll just. Your legs. Hands. Your legs. Oh, like, we're going to do a reverse face. person oh, thing. Yeah. You I don't need legs in this space. You, you can fly anywhere you want. Whatever you want. So, so I'll do the eyes. She's got eyes Compost. and I've got yeah. ears, so I'm gonna go up and I'm Compost. gonna and get I, my head right next to her. Your and, ears, and she's head, your, she, she's eyes. And as Good. we do that, I slam yes. on the yes. <laughs> central thing. As you do, the, the, the five of you together bonded with the power of the internet uh, <laughs> out of your vest, which no one has ever known what this thing no. does. As you hit the, uh, the activation button, the whole thing whirs with it. God, Lillard's just putting in the work right now. <laughs> I want you to know, as they make this being, I turn into a hat and I sit perched right on top of my colleague from, 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 yeah. So I make a little tiny hat on the top of you. Oh uh, out of Voltron, you guys uh, all, all form this this singular shape together that's pa- that's powered with a 486 long. processor. It's quite amazing. And as you do, um, uh, there's there's a cube that f- that forms around you. It's a gleaming cube of energy that that spins and forms with uh, immense power and sort of pushes. The cube you this just leave the cube together and it pushes all the code back. There's one more test for you all to pass. Oh no! And this might be the hardest of them all. Are you sure? Getting through a door is pretty <laughs> fucking tough for us. <laughs> it's wild. Guys, it's the sound of Lillard's fabric that does it for me. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm not on camera anymore. <laughs> oh boy, guys. What is happening? Oh shit. What? This is a thing. Oh no. All right. The whole world turns into a video game space. Okay. What? Uh, it turns into any video game that seems to be imagined from Liam's head, Ner- Nerf Worm's head. It's a video game of his choice. Oh boy. Uh, and the, the one that I'm gonna just choose it for you. The, wor- the one that you choose is called Snakebite. Um, it's a game that you Snake. that you grew up playing but you're gonna to have to play it for keeps this time. Uh, here, pull, pull all those cords towards you, okay? okay. Uh, the white one is gonna be Liam. Oh my God. He is, I'm sorry? Oh, take off your gloves, uh, all of you. All gloves. Like, we, really you, this, is, this is a shared, this, so this is a shared test. <laughs> oh boy, guys. Um, 
What? This is the moment Nerf Word Grim has been waiting for his whole life. The chance to save the world with right. video games. So this is you you are the you are the controls of a video game. Liam will be controlling you. Liam, do you, you don't have to press that. Okay. Sorry, Nerf Worm. You're going to be pressing the hands and body parts of your friends. What? I recommend what? each of you hold oh. one of these with a hand and put that hand close in. So we're not okay. using the A, B buttons, it's no. just directional. You are, it's just directional. Amy is up, Christian is left, Laura is down, Lou is right. Yep. And you press their hands there. with your hand. There. And it will control the video game that what? our audience will be seeing How on the screen. Possible? You are forming that's crazy. An antivirus worm. It will writhe and slither its way into the pure code of the virus, collecting pieces of code and assembling them to activate the self destruct <laughs> command. <laughs> the game will start now. Holy shit, I hope this works. I asked the universe if I break them up, do I get advantage <laughs> you at, on checks? You absolutely do. Go ahead and try to break uh, them up. Ah, yes. Uh. Compost guru. I ask you a question. <laughs> I feel yeah. I'm having a heart attack. Oh. I am dying. I, or am I choking? Will you save me? Compost? <laughs> I can't. Bruce. You're, you're save a troll. Save me. You're a troll. Save. The internet's no place for trolls. <laughs> You're, Did you're you say the troll? Hippocratic oath, but, <laughs> but doing it for, I don't know what's happening. Do you mean troll too? <gasps> oh, no. this? No! Is, no. Is, he's got no. your paw! No! Look away! I I can't, can't, it. You're not gonna come get to that me. pog if you do this. Oh. Compost, come to me! Come, come to me! Come to me! Look at me, I will give this to you! Compost! Hold on to the bit stream! <laughs> Tell whatever lies you want in here, uh, Dawn Johnson! <laughs> Dawn Johnson calls you! I make it, I make Start a the check! Game. Give me a check! Give me a check, uh, okay. universe! Do, do, it, uh, do a check. Do you have anything to roll with? I'll roll for you. Oh, roll for oh, me! Oh, oh great oh, one! Wait, you're game to... over! You rolled a nine. Uh, roll against it, Lou. Uh, come, no Combo's guru, be with me. Uh, what I would, what kind of just for anything. Just, just that. Uh, uh, that's five. Right. That's five. Uh, okay, uh, Compost that, guru starts to resist. Oh, he starts come. to let go, but he hasn't let go yet. Come uh, uh, all right. Play, come you will be guru. playing the game by pressing each other's hands right now. Go. Wow. Oh, oh, no. That is the no. pattern. Nerf. That is the pattern you Nerf need to get. What's the oh, fight me! You're doing, you you're doing a great job distracting them, sir. Now oh, the, the ah. pattern's changed. You need one zero zero zero. What? What? Get the one. Get the one. Boom! Oh. 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 oh my God, this is intense. This is so so really intense. Oh, yeah. I failed again. Oh, restart. Restart. Oh, I should win. So I should hard. never lose. The pattern changes. <laughs> I should win forever. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one one zero zero. Okay, we'll go Liam, up. This is the moment you've there, been waiting one, for. One, 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 go up, go up, go up. Wire, I challenge got you to yeah, arm wrestle. One, you need oh, another one. I challenge you to arm wrestle, you <laughs> care, you collection of Care Bears. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Arm wrestle. He's, He's doing, doing it. Zero. 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 Give the zero, zero. Yeah. You cannot do it. Oh, no. No. no, no, he got a one, a one at the one. end. He needed a zero. I missed, it was like that close. Universe, universe okay. how many times do I have to win? Uh, <laughs> I'm asking, Mother Universe. Uh, 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 this how time, many this times? I'm menacing you guys, you probably only have one or two more tries before this Wait, wait, one or two? One, one, zero, zero. One, 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 zero, zero. zero. One, one, zero, zero. One, one, zero, Universe! Come on! Come on! Yeah! No! Uh, no. I give you okay. yes. Fifty thousand dollars. Oh my God! Are you hearing? Are you hearing this? Wriggle me. This. He's offering you money. Fifty thousand dollars. He offered you fifty. Even. A hundred fifty thousand dollars. He's offering you. Fifty thousand dollars. You're even. You can take your invention oh, wow. and go oh, to the guys. world. That's a lot of money. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. I think coming. This is out. Come, come in. Come in. Give me your hands. Zero, zero. Give me your hands. Look at your eyes, and it's the only thing keeping me here. Come! Ah. 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 Ah.
<laughs> yes, I'm listening. I'm listening. I literally, I turn into a bird and okay. I sit on your shoulder right. and I say to you, what does it take to win? <laughs> I don't know. For I have won. Uh, I have won so many times. <laughs> I just quit. As you, as you, you are watching I give them a moment. grow in size yeah. and spread. Oh, I think you off. really you only have Ruben one Ruben more try oh, before he's going to let loose Universe. on the rest of the world. Universe, yes, I give listening. them an option. Zero, one, if they one, take one, it now, zero, one, I will one, one, zap one. them back to their normal lives. Okay. Oh. Do they take oh. it or not? Are you taking are Do you, you take taking it or not? Nations? Are you taking it or not? Ruminations gives you the offer no. to go back no. to your normal life. I don't want it. Then you shall perish now. <laughs> oh, universe. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Ruminations uh, has uh, to win. Uh, friendship. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jump in, anybody. It's okay, harder than you think. I it take is. the pog. It is I take the pog. Okay. okay. And I, right. I change into the pog. You're becoming I the change. pog. I become the trolls to pog. <laughs> what are you doing? I, 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 I barely can. <laughs> <laughs> I you walk up the compost guru. Pulling away. <laughs> I, I walk up to come. Here it comes. Okay, here this comes. is it. This is and it. This is it. One, it's already. No, I've I already won. Yeah, I know you've already Mother won. Mother Universe. I know you've I've already, already won. won. You've already won. This is a pyrrhic. This is a pyrrhic uh, victory. Oh, one. one. Yes. Zero. Z oh. Troll two. Oh. Uh, 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 I think. Zero. Oh. 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 I, I literally, I, 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 I literally, I, I create behind me an oasis, uh -huh. and on that oasis, I create the longest, deepest hammock you've ever seen. The sky is blue, and you can see the moon just rising over the horizon. The water it's is like nice. turquoise. Zero I love, I love the description. Zero Slowly zero back and oh forth oh with the breeze. Because okay, really I know oh God, it's like hard the game is over. Computer, you computer systems are Here's shutting down across the world. Get your fingers together. Get your fingers. Okay, So it's like a controller. Oh, when I'm okay. you're you still doing it. I'm no, you're you're a, you're a controller. Uh, okay. I'm just making a better controller for you. <laughs> okay. This is it. Don Johnson, this better be it. This has got to be it. One, How one. many hits does it have one, to be? <laughs> Lady Universe. One. one. Uh, no, one. Uh, you're, you've already won, Lillard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you've already won. But they can keep trying because I really want to see them do this. <laughs> Come on, Voltron. Do not okay. fix this in the edit, no, Mother no, Universe. This, this will not be edited out. <laughs> this time is Wait. over. I've, everything's moved around. I sip coconut from a fresh, I crack, okay. I literally take my finger and I dig a hole in the top of the coconut. <laughs> Just, I evaporate <laughs> the coconut. Zero, zero, and I create the longest, most elaborate, crazy straw you could ever dream of. <laughs> and at the corner of my mouth, I gently sip the coldest, most delicious zero. coconut milk ever. For I have one. Zero. And you know a zero or a one? Need, now you need another zero. Oh. Well, I cannot. that concludes it's so our game. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Maybe we can kill two That's a TPK. <laughs> Do we lose? Listen, we lie? Heroes don't always win. <laughs> May I make an appeal to DJ? No. To DJ? The DJ. To Han Johnson. Oh, Don Johnson. Oh, okay. Juan. What, 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 would, Juan your, what would your appeal like to be? <laughs> to Juan Johnson, I know what it feels like to be I alone. I know what you really want. Family. Oh. Maybe, instead of secluding yourself here, you can come back with us. You're loved, to Han Johnson, and respected. That is... Without a doubt, the sweetest, most insipid thing a man has ever said to me. You guys couldn't do it. For so in this I moment, know. I consider it, and I want you to know, if only Ashley Johnson, my long lost niece, the one true queen that walks amongst us, if she were to ask me, maybe. But until then, I snap my fingers. Lady Universe, I snack my fingers. I take, wiggle me this, and I put him in a pauper's jail. Like in Les Mis. 
I snap my fingers, and he goes to a pauper's jail, and like, Valjean, at last we see each other. He's singing in the corner. Yes, exactly. And he's stolen. He's stolen. He's stolen another piece of of silver from the priest, and thus begins that journey. And I go to compost guru. Wait, Don. Can I just? Can I give up? Can I join you? Can I? Is it too late? I'll take the pod. I, Let me in. I, Your time I, is drunk with power. He's drunk with power. I I think I think. Uh, oh, I'm, I was gonna banish them all. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing, man. No, lady. Lady. You Universe, you are about the universe. No. I am just an acolyte. Uh, <laughs> uh, showing true grit and true heart. Mm. You mm. all tried your best. Oh, no. mm. I think we should try one more time. Should we? I don't know what well, to what do. What if we don't get it and we try one more time? I don't know what this was supposed to work. Lady Universe! <laughs> I won! <laughs> I have won! You know what? Allow me to Can banish you them! Time? Go ahead and for try one more time. Yeah, for everything. For all the marbles. This is it. Who's gonna be in control? I think, I think Liam. I think Liam he's I'll I mean, a Nerf worm. Okay. Liam. Nerf worm, it's okay. yours. So it's your game. Payments. Okay. It's always been your game. One day before. Can we make a deal? One Lady one Universe. Try. Yes, I'm listening. Can we make a deal? Yes, I'm listening. Each one of them takes a chance to lead it. Each one of them takes a chance to lead it? Yes, and then if they fail, Oh, okay. They banish it. Each time they fail, banish they get it. banish it. Banish it. Okay, sure. Each okay. one gets a, a try right, at the so control. It's oh. one chance. And if you and if, fail, if somebody wins, you're dead forever. then they all That's come back. Exactly. But if they don't, they're in know. my prison forever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Wait, we don't have the wait, right wait, side wait, yet. Wait. Get everything in place. Okay, yeah. you, put us, there, you put us where you that want us. There, that there. Okay, okay. Well, okay, we'll see. You feel good? No, let's go. This is everything. It all comes down to this. Zero, zero, uh, what's the fucking code? Zero, zero, zero. Who's leading? Zero. Uh, right now, Nerf Worm is leading. Nerf Worm. Yes! May you fail miserably. <sighs> that is one down. We're not gonna count that one. <laughs> that is <laughs> It's okay, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. You, Lady Universe, you are being a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> the thing they is, failed. all ones, all ones, oh, this four okay. ones. Okay. Where are the ones? Where's your hand? Where the fuck are the ones, Where man? Where are the ones gone? Top of the screen wait, on the right. Wait, wait, Top wait. Of the screen this on isn't the right. working. This isn't working. I fuck don't know me. what's your head anymore. Ah. Oh my god. Stay there. What? There are one. four ones. That should not be hard. Ah. 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 Two down. They don't respond. Don't Lady know. Universe. Are you touching Two the down. metal part? Yes. yes. Two down. <laughs> Why'd, you, why'd you make me wear this fun cool outfit? I thought I was gonna say the internet. <laughs> Last time. Last time. Now Donald Trump. Last time. Last time. And then we deserve to die. With the, with the power of Nord VPN behind you, <laughs> you all summon all energy. And this time, all you need to do is get one number right. I've already done that. Seven but times. this time is the one that counts. Just oh, one, right. one number, Play. and you've got it. Come on, guys. You got this. I am gonna take, make it one hand, Amy. Make it one hand. One oh hand. my god! Just one number. Zero it has one. to be a zero. You didn't get a zero. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. This is crazy! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there is no way! <laughs> this show is not the best! Oh god! <laughs> this show is not the best! You should try it. Oh. Oh. If you can I do it. I have presented the game. If you can do it, though, you really, really I have know. presented the game. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the thread. If you had only the hand, <laughs> it would have worked. All right. Lady Universe. I understand. I feel like I have won multiple times. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Glory be to Lady Universe. I vanquished, I I vanquished them all. I will, I will wrap it up like this. <laughs> Somehow. Oh. Wait, no. I the, though the five of the Nord Initiative 
seemed like they failed. <laughs> Their heart somehow convinced ruination to turn over a new leaf. He Instead of so focusing much. his code on viruses, I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> he, he decided that maybe he should do some good in the world. And so, maybe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do. So, yes. along with his new partners, Compost Guru, Wire Wizard, Nerf Worm, Wriggle Me This, and Jinx, he decided to form a new venture, giving up the evil of Johnson Corp and forming a new organization, one called NordVPN. <laughs> wow. That was dedicated to preventing trolls like him ever come back in the future with their high security interface <laughs> and their excellent cybersecurity. Uh, the team actually was pretty good together. Uh, they got their pogs, they got their cat medicine. Feels like a funeral. <laughs> they found love. <laughs> and out of the digital ashes of this, this second act disaster, <laughs> they even found love, and uh, two of them eventually were married. And my record's clean? me and Rumination? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just. <laughs> it was you two, and they, uh, they adopted a, a small baby. I Who was me? Live until today. Black Willow sixty nine at AOL dot com. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, the internet isn't perfect, guys. It's still full of trolls and bad actors who make the experience not so great sometimes. But with pure hearts and friendship and good intentions, we can all band together and do what these six people did: <laughs> try to weave a better web for everyone. And with that, I'll thank NordVPN for sponsoring tonight's show. And be sure to visit nordvpn.com slash critical role to receive a huge discount for a two-year plan, plus four months for free. The end. I have notes. I have notes. Thank you guys so much for doing this. The ending. <laughs> was interesting. No. We didn't the, stick the landing. I'll tell you, one of my all-time TTRPG experiences, <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. You guys looked great, Lillard. Thank you for joining oh, us. My God. Oh. I really, so I, I, what, I didn't know. I, I, it I, really I, felt like I was like, wow, that flatliners thing. I guess we just we really synced up on that, and then just wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. Um, thank you all, wow. Amy, Christian, Matt, Liam, Laura, Lou, uh, and thank you viewers for watching this uh, bit insane <laughs> uh, uh, venture into the internet. Uh, I hope you all remember to love each other, and is it Thursday yet? Woo